All right, let's get into it. Hey, everybody. Hi, my Cass. Good to see you. Welcome back. And uh, welcome to everybody who is joining us for some more Dead Space Remake. You know, we've been streaming this for, uh, gosh, the last, like, two days. And we're going to we're gonna just keep on rolling through the game here. Uh, Quintavius Bartholomew Snugglebottom III, good to see you as well. Oh, man. Okay. So... Uh, you know, before we before we jump in, uh, let's just go ahead and answer a lot of the questions that uh, we've been getting, uh, kind of from everybody who's been coming in. First off, there's been a lot of like, you know, just is the game good? Um, as we're recording this, it came out two days ago, so a lot of people aren't aren't familiar with that yet. I mean, like, I know the original two Dead Space games very well. I mean, look look at this guy right here, um, and I I'm having a blast with it. So if you are someone who likes the first game and you um, you know, would be interested in seeing uh, an update to 2023 standards, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. You know, um, whether whether you want to pay full new release price or you want to wait for a little bit, that's up to you. Um, I paid, obviously, full price because we're playing it, you know, three days in. Um, and I have zero regrets about that. I think, I think it's been great. And I've been really impressed with... I mean, of course, it looks better, naturally. I mean, the game is 15 years old, the original one right now. So, like, you know, it looks really you know, similar, but still very updated. They've also, they've made a ton of like quality of life improvements as well. You know, I mean, I feel like they did a lot of good, you know, like, uh, you know, I, they, they did a lot of good ideation around like where they could have improved certain things in the game, where there were some, you know, maybe some pacing issues, um, where they could have included more people in the narrative. And I think they succeeded. Um, yeah, we'll talk. Yeah, you think uh, Myler Chaos said it's uh, it's worth the full price passion put into it. Just, I agree. Um, I think that they clearly there's a lot of love for the original Dead Space here and there's nothing they've changed so far except for the engine sound I'm a little as, as a Bay Area person I'm a little upset about that but besides that uh, no one else will notice that but me so it's fine um, besides that I think they put some good stuff into the game and I think that it's 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 really worth it um, is there anything you know to note now that one thing I do want to point out is there have been some graphical issues here and there. Um, and I'm just like, I think it's still worth it, but I'll just, you know, point this out. We did have two crashes yesterday. And there are some points where the textures become pretty pixelated. Now, not like what we're seeing on the hydroponics hub here where it's like, it's hitching and I think it's designed to hitch like that. Like, that's not, uh, that's not a mistake. But when there's a lot of high motion, there is some pixelating. There's also um, some of the posters on the wall here. I don't know if there are any here. Um, will become will, are still very pixelated until you come right up on them. Now they have said that there is a patch in the works for this. Um, it is not out yet, so we're still playing on the the day one version here. Uh, so if you notice anything like that, that may be improved in future patches, um, and we'll we'll hear more about that. But like, uh, what's changed? First of all, there's no loading screens. So the Ishimura is just one big ship now, um, and you can travel all throughout it however you want. In fact, the game encourages you to backtrack, which is a, a nice touch. Um, the, uh, as you can imagine, the dismemberment graphics are uh, gross, and I'm sure we'll see more of that grossness as we go on. Um, you now find the weapons in the world. You don't actually just print them at the store. You do pay to unlock additional upgrades though. So, you know, whether you end up paying more or not, I don't know. The game was sort of balanced around that. Um, so the node system works a little differently. I'm sure we'll, we'll do some noding here as we go on. Um, also, uh, I want to point out the progression of the story here. Let's see. So now there are also side missions. This was not uh, the case in the original game. Um, where there's we've unlocked now three of them. There's not a ton. So it's really just like how many do you want to play, right? So we have... Scientific methods. Now, we're going to come into the mining deck will be the first level that we play. And a bunch of these quests um, have been kind of on hold for the last few levels. And now they're going to come back into play. So we're going to like pick up on these side quests again. Um, one of them is we found Nicole's office. And um, we've been kind of tracking video logs of Nicole to figure out where she's gone. Because, of course, Isaac has just landed on the Ishimura, and he's looking for her, his girlfriend, uh, who is stationed on the Ishimura, and can't find her. Um, so we found a couple of video logs in the first few chapters, and Nicole is going to try to seek out Dr. Kine. Um, here, um, I'll turn off the music so we can just, we can just do this. Um, so uh, Dr. Kine is the chief science officer, and he has... Um, 
He's always been more cautious, but he started to, like, after they brought the marker up, started to become preoccupied with returning the marker back to Aegis 7. Because he thinks the outbreak is responsible, like, the marker is responsible for the outbreak and is trying to get the captain to return it. When the captain refused, he relieved the captain of duty and killed him. And when, of course, the officers, you know, tried to arrest him, as, as one would, uh, Kine ran off and is hiding somewhere in the mining deck. So we know that uh, Nicole is looking for him there. We also know uh, that uh, Dr. Mercer, who is the guy who is uh, trying to, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, catalyze the, uh, the necromorph outbreak because he thinks that this is God's work or whatever, um, this is all new. He was working with the patient, the original patient from Aegis 7, who, um, who was brought up to the Ishimura and is trying to kind of unlock the secrets of the marker using him and actually had some great callbacks to Dead Space 2 in there. So if you know Dead Space 2, there was a lot of stuff that was not included in the original game. And he was sending Harris on an errand to run in uh, on the mining deck. We don't know what that errand was, but we're probably going to find out today. Uh, there's also a side quest where you have to find the rigs of certain people that we've heard. Um, you know, we only know these folks from audio logs, but there are certain rigs that if we find them, we can get additional access to hidden rooms. Um, now, I went back and I found the ones that we already have access to. The only one, um, so the ones that are in red, these are decks that we have not unlocked yet. Uh, the one that's in yellow, it means we have unlocked uh, this particular deck, but we have not unlocked the location of this rig. So this rig is locked behind a level three access door. That's also something new. And uh, we are we're currently on level two. So we cannot get this rig yet. But if we go back later, once we get level three, we'll get there. So I think that about catches us up. Now, we just played chapters four, five, and six yesterday. Um, so if you know the original Dead Space, that means we went in and fought the Leviathan. And we were able to blast it out into space. That's new. Um, so I wonder if that's the big alien we're now going to have to blast off the ship in Chapter 8. Um, and we're going to find out today. You're loving the added side quest, Mylar Cast. Yeah, me too. I think that the, the those were a nice touch. And I think that, like... It's a great way to encourage backtracking throughout the ship and, you know, exploring more than we would have if we were just playing this linearly. And I think that's about it. Um, so, if you remember the end of Chapter 6, um, it plays out... Chapters 5 and 6 play out very differently than they did in the original game, plot-wise. Like, gameplay-wise, they're still very similar. Um, Quintavius, you said that uh, the side quests give great rewards that are worth doing. Yeah, we're definitely going to do them. So, we're, we're going we're gonna to play those through. Um... So there is, uh, let's see, now, rather than Kendra saying that there is a, an SOS beacon on the mining deck, uh, now that is that information was given to us by Dr. Elizabeth Cross. And if you remember that name, we found her audio logs in the original game, but we never actually spoke to her. Um, we find her later in the original game. I'm not going to say when yet, but, uh, but yeah, uh, we know that she does exist in the world. Um, but we never actually talked to her in the original game, whereas now she's in radio contact with Isaac because she's trying to find her partner, Jacob, whereas Isaac is trying to find his partner, Nicole. So we kind of both are sort of bonded together with a similar mission, right? Um, <clears throat> so Cross has told us that if we get the SOS beacon on the mining deck, launch it out, we might be able to call for help from another ship. So um, the problem with that is that the mining uh, deck tram station is closed. All of the tram stations have been put on emergency lockdown, so we have to actually get to them using shortcuts throughout the ship and then open them, and then we can fast travel back and forth. I think I think we, we've covered it. So now we see have this door that's been unlocked now that says two mining tram stations, so we're going to have to work our way to the mining tram and then unlock that, and then we can use the mining tram station from there on. All right. Uh, before we get started, let me go ahead and get our friends on TikTok on. Because we, uh, we co-stream to TikTok. And uh, let's see, we are all set up, and I just want to pop out that chat. And it's been fun to be able to, you know, bring some new folks who otherwise we might not have met onto stream. All right, I think, I think that about does it. All right, cool. So let's kick off Chapter 7. A uh, quick, like, just a reminder of, like, uh, where we're at loadout-wise. Got a couple of med packs. We're running a little low on plasma ammo because we put all of them into the Leviathan. But I think we're going to be okay. All right. The mining deck in the original game was a lot of tight quarters. So getting the Ripper 
uh, up and running will be very important. Now this looks, can I move you? Can I, oh, okay, master override. So this is the access that you will get if you get all those rigs. So this is why I'm trying to go find them, is there's a master override access um, kind of for like the top, uh, the top people on the ship. And, and we need all the officers rigs in order to activate it for ourselves. So we have an elevator. Now this should take us up. I believe we have. Let's see. No, we're going down. Never mind. All right. So we're trying to get to the walkway that'll take us to the mining deck. And let's do just that. All right. Now looking around here, nothing seems to be jumping out at me. Oh, well, that was easy. All right. <laughs> cool. So this is the mining deck. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the lockdown overridden and now we have unlocked the station and it's already got a car here for us so we can use this to fast travel between the various decks it looks like this is the end of the line officially and it's pretty cool so in the original dead space of course you went in here and this was the end of the chapter and so like this was kind of your safe zone not anymore i'm not gonna go anywhere oh oh look at this okay cool all right so i hadn't seen this before so this is i guess a joint station this is the engineering deck and then this is the mining deck over here. Ah, oh, that's neat. All right, just to show people off the map, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go anywhere. But like, here we are at mining and engineering, and these are all the stations we've unlocked. So now we have mining and engineering together, hydroponics, uh, the hangar, uh, cargo tram control, medical deck. Uh, this is probably the crew deck. Um, that is, uh, that's unlocked there, um, and then the bridge. So these are kind of all the various decks that we go to throughout the game. Uh, all right. Now then. Uh, wait, this is the engineering deck. I just want to make sure we're tracking the correct mission. Okay, great. Okay, back to the mining deck. Now then, where are we, where are we going? Let's head on in. All right. Now, the mining deck in the original game was a whole bunch of tight corridors. So having the Ripper is going to be really helpful. Uh oh, here we go. Here's Kendra. Great. Let me work on the elevators. Any idea where Temple's SOS beacon might be? I'll check the mining control room. The launch tube's there. I can send out a beacon easy. Anyone there? Hammond? Oh, Hammond. We haven't heard from him in a while. In the vents, hoping they don't hear me. Yeah, those things are everywhere. No, the unitologists. They're all here on the crew deck. Oh. Ooh, this is new. Hammond. Shit. Lost his signal again. We gotta find that beacon, Isaac. Fast. Okay, so the crew deck, we come to the crew deck in chapter 10, and um, everybody is already dead by then, so Hammond may be there for when this occurs. Uh, Shay Armstrong on TikTok asked, when did this come out? It came out on Friday. So this game has been out for two whole days. All right, this is level three clearance. So we have level two clearance. This is a new uh, mechanic in the Dead Space remake. Um, where you are slowly granted additional access levels, it does encourage you to backtrack and find these things later. So right now we're on level two, uh, so not able to uh, not able to uh, open that just yet, but soon we will. Okay, uh, where where are we? This is interesting. Um, of course, these crates are typically moved with kinesis. I don't know if I can get through here. All right, there is tool storage. Now that if you see that star, I believe that means that is something that requires the master override. Let's see. I'm gonna bring this out. And this, like, if we move these now, it might actually keep it that way, um, because I've been really surprised. When I leave items in certain chapters, uh-oh, hold on. One second. When I leave certain items in chapters, they stay there. Down you go. Uh, let's see, wind runs cold, what chapter are we on? We just started chapter seven. So this is the mining deck that we just started. Um, Alejandro, how's the game out of 10? I would give it at least a 9. I'm having a great time with it. Uh, one's going to pop out. Yeah, <laughs> you were right. Uh, Alex J, thank you for following. Yep, Master Override required. Okay. All right, so Quintavius is... Uh, we're talking about this. Oh, hey, thank you for subscribing. Who is that? Uh, that is uh, Kamen8282. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. Quintavius mentioned that, uh, yeah, there's some additional bonuses for, uh, let's see, with uh, audio logs and some references to Dead Space 2. Oh, we're definitely going to go do those. That's neat. Uh, let's see. We have some uh, Alejandro, Matthew Walworth. Thank you for following. Cole, don't normally watch streamers, but love your stream, man. Oh, thank you, Cole. I appreciate that. 
Man, I'm just I'm just here excited for this game and oh, there's a power node. Sweet. And I'm glad other people are too. Let's get this power node. Rye guy. You just finished up this morning. Have fun with this big elevator. Yeah, I'm going to have fun in there. I know exactly what you're talking about. Alejandro, thank you for the game pad. All right. Let's see here. Rig room. Now, I think this is yeah. All right. So this room, this is straight out of the original. There's a big old uh, there's all the store and all that is over here. We so we'll be able to uh, to bench up before we go out. Uh, Blue Velociraptor, is the game same or different? There are some notable changes. It is very similar, just updated. Um, but, you know, there's definitely, there's enough that's different that I think it's worth your while to play it. Uh, let's see. Dead Space Rocks, I've got all three. Matthew Walworth, I agree. Uh-oh, level three. I've got all three as well, and I am stoked to get in on this. This has been a lot of fun. All right, so we don't have a bench. No, we do have a bench. Never mind, we got all of them. Um, let's, let's do some upgrades. There's something hidden behind here. What are you? You are credits. Sweet. The zombies in this game are frightening. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay, let's go to the bench. I got a few... Uh, Death Soul Bad Guy, thanks for following. I got a few nodes. I went back and I've been capturing footage for YouTube. Uh, so I've been, I replayed the levels from last night. And, um, and I went back and I found a few extra nodes. Um, now here's here's one thing that's going to be interesting for this particular run. So typically I skip suit four when I play Dead Space one, and the reason I do that is because like it's a big old credit sink, and right now we're running a little low on credits, and I want to be able to save those. But the way that this works is like I could upgrade my HP without having to buy additional suits in the original game. That's not true here. When I, if I get suit four, it will upgrade additional nodes for me to purchase. So if I stick to suit three, I cannot upgrade my HP till we get to suit five. And that could get a little constraining. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But let's, uh, let's see. We're going to do a couple of things here. You know what I liked? I did this yesterday a little bit differently. This applies damage to over time to each shot. This is straight out of Dead Space 2. Um, and I want to see... Uh, I want to be able to add that here. So we're going to add that now. We'll do rate of fire. And now this is pretty much going to like add like a like a flame effect if you hit something. So it'll do some additional ones. Uh, Matthew Walworth, have I done the node glitch? I didn't know there was a node glitch in this game. There probably is, but no, I haven't done it yet. Uh, Quintavius said that uh, the secret ending is chilling. You got it yesterday on your NG Plus playthrough. I won't spoil it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I can't wait to see it myself. Uh, but I appreciate the... Uh, Appreciate you uh, uh, not spoiling it. Um, let's do... Let's get duration on the Ripper as well. Because we're about to have... Uh, that elevator is going to include some very close quarters fights. And so the Ripper is going to be is gonna be helpful. Alright, let's go to the store. And then we'll get started. My Lord Chaos says, now you piqued my curiosity. Mine too! Chosen One, thanks for following. Uh, all right, we have, let's see, what's my inventory look like? I got some ammo, some med pack, <laughs> only 6,800 credits. That's not a ton. Uh, do I have anything in storage I could sell? Mm. No, I'm going to keep it all, I think, for now. And then last thing I want to see is look at my loadout. Blue the Velociraptor said, what did I think of Callisto Protocol? I thought Callisto Protocol had a lot of... Oh, this is the contact beam. Uh, Callisto Protocol had a lot of uh, potential, and I think that, unfortunately, it rushed itself to the point where, like, it kind of missed out on, on being a better game. I think they were really trying to beat Dead Space to market, and, unfortunately, it really shows in how they, uh, how they actually came across. So, you know, hopefully the DLC will be better. All right, I'm going to move that. We're going to swap out the line gun is now going to be added here. But I had a lot of fun with the with the, the fight system in Callisto Protocol. I think the uh, there's some good merit to the story. In fact, I made a, vi a video on my main channel for YouTube called um, I Can Fix the Callisto Protocol Story. And I kind of talked about, like, here's everything that we could have done better, and we would have had a way better game. All right. Let's uh, gonna save real quick, and let's play the game. Josh Heflin, they remade the first one? Yes, they did. Uh, they better add a new one after remastering them all. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, hopefully they will. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if they're going to uh, remake Dead Space 2, but if this one is a success and it's EA, I'm sure that they will. All right. So here's the elevator. This is weird. Two of the mining subducts are locked down, even though all systems are running. I'm going to figure this out. 
Uh, Mylar Chaos said, hopefully that a Callisto Protocol sequel can be uh, greenlit and then they can improve on the first. I hope so. I think a lot of it's going to come down to the DLC. If they have good story DLC and the fans like it, there's a chance. I know Krafton really wants to build more like properties outside of PUBG, so maybe. Um, but I think they're going to have to show that they've heard the fans' feedback and that they're 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 capable of delivering more. I hope that they do because I think that there it was a good property. Uh, hopefully, Red Dead Two will have zombies in it one day. I'm surprised it doesn't, to be honest. Uh, all right, so Kendra mentioned that two of the the decks, the below decks here, processing and maintenance, are locked down. So we have to go to deck C to unlock it first. So let's go do that. I'm just looking around at my. All right, so we have. Oh, this is this is just slow and ominous. I'm just looking around. So we gotta go down past deck B. I don't think we've hit deck B yet. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. All right, I guess we're about to get right into it. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're here. Vongardo, thank you for following. Use stasis to slow it down. Let's see. Well, let's see what it throws at me first. All right. Ooh, got a nice chunk out of me. Good for you. Yep, there's another one. Well, there's a third. Anyone else? I got about half my HP, so yeah, we'll probably start using the stasis. Nope, that's it. All right. Phew! All right. Jordan Nice, you're sad you didn't see this much hype on Callisto Protocol. I think there was hype for Callisto Protocol, and then it came out, and people, I think, felt a little disappointed. You know? You do miss the Xboxes I loot boxes. Yeah, I do miss stomping on Xboxes in this game. Um, uh, for those of you who, who didn't play the original, the, uh, the crates were um, big and green and definitely looked like OG Xboxes. Dorian Coronado said, uh, Dead Space all day, let's go. And thank you for the fire. Certified review, thank you for following. Whoops. Pop in. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Beware traps ahead. That's new. That wasn't in the original. Let me just look around here. Uh-oh. I hear something. Okay. Traps ahead. Uh, oh, God. Oh, great. It's in another language. I don't know if anyone knows how to read this, but that's not English. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. What could possibly go wrong? i stomp that. Credits. Maybe we'll hang on to this. Uh, Derek H., uh, wait, New Dead Space? Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Well, it's, it's a remake of the original game. So, yes and no. Oh! Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Uh, looks like we got some... Uh... Oh, let's see how these work. Yep, they fry you pretty much immediately. Awesome. Okay. Um... I don't know that I can... We've got a couple of the... Uh-oh. A couple of these here. I don't know that I can blow them up. I think I'm probably going to have to take this and block these. Uh-oh. More carefully than that. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Loser boy needs study. Thanks for not asking my question. I asked three times. What? What question was that? I missed it. Sorry, bud. Uh, let's see. I uh, looks like there's a couple of uh, a whole bunch of questions I missed here. Uh, every time I see uh, the green glow of credits, I think it's a health pack. Me too, Rye guy. Me too. That has been driving me crazy. Is the health packs used to be these green glowing dots, and now it's credits. And every time I see one, I think I'm finding a med pack, and I'm wrong, and it bugs me. So I feel you. Uh, Dorian Coronado, the hassle of getting a dead uh, PS5 just to play this game. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, it's weird that it's out on the Xbox Series S, like, and not the PS4 Pro. Um, I think Mylar Chaos thought that, that, that uh, Microsoft paid for it, and he's probably right. Uh, let's see. Imagine a Slender, Mat, a Slender Man mod for this instead of zombies. No, no, I'm not going to imagine that. Uh, is it worth the money? Honest take. Ernie Sheaf, I absolutely think so. Yes. Uh, the guy, I guess, is this a new one? Uh, yeah, this is uh, the remake of Dead Space 1. It came out on Friday, so we are we are deep into it now. Uh, it's not on PS4. Yeah, Ernie, it's not on PS4. Don't know why. Um, yeah, Series S is, isn't the same level as PS4 Pro. Is it not? I thought it was. 
Okay, maybe not. Um, all right, let's roll out. Uh, anything else here? Ooh, listen to that, listen to that. Oh, you can just feel that scream against the steel. Uh, okay, anything else down here? Oh, I got some more stuff. All right. Hmm, do we go down this hall? The Series S is 1080p visual quality. Oh, okay. That just torpedoed it for me. Hope you enjoy it. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, for PlayStation, you do have to get it on PS5. Okay, so it looks like there's a... Um, uh, let's see. The guy, I guess, thank you for following. Uh, it looks like... If I'm looking at the map, there's probably a supply room down here. Because this is like a dead-end room over there. So it's probably a storage room. So let's... Whoops! <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to grab. I meant to grab... That's that's a necromorph claw. Thank you. This. Okay, so it goes this side. Ooh, that's close. Alright. I guess I gotta use this too. Oh! Give me that. All right, let's open this up. What do we have in here? A big old bloody mess. That's what we got. What used to be a store? Yeah. Okay. So this is what this is what uh, Rye Guy was talking about right now. So if you see how like in the original game, any pickups that had green dots were health items, and now they're credits. I mean, I'm never mad about getting a ruby semiconductor, but still, it is a little frustrating. Anything back here? Yep, there's something back here. What are you? Oh, it is an audio log. Let's see. Security request retrieved. What are you? Security. We got some freak called Harris stealing from ore storage. This is the Dr. side quest. Mercer sent me for Osmium to complete his work. Yeah, I don't care if God Almighty sent. You skim from CEC's profit margin, we get screwed. God. So, you can put that osmium down, or I can break your arms first. I worked with people like you on Aegis 7. They steal my power nodes. Leave me to dig with no light. Hey, hey! Get off me! But when they abandon you in the dark, it's not empty. The marker whispered its revelations there. Now I understand them. Do you want to hear? Warning. Untrained personnel may not use suit kiosk. No, no, stop, please! I said please. When they shut me in, screamed it too. I promise I will laugh like they did. Warning. Suit kiosk is obstructed. Serious injury may occur. Oh, God! Help me! Oh! oh. Okay. Incident report filed to bridge by Dr. Nicole Brennan. See related Ooh. ring activity. Okay, let's talk about what just happened. So, we walked in here and we were like, wow, that's disgusting. Because we have a store that had a big old bloody mess in there. So, what the heck just happened? So, we know from the side quest that, like, uh, Dr. Mercer sent Harris, the patient that he was, um trying to extract the marker designs from over here to ore storage. And I guess uh, Harris was caught, and it seems like shoved this guy, this miner who caught him, into the store, and it tried to, it, like, put a suit, like, try to change out his suit without him actually having a suit on and probably ripped his skin off. Oh, God, that's gross. Um, oh, that's a great environmental storytelling right there, though. I had no idea what I was walking into. That was awesome. Uh, okay, catching up with chat. Alyssa Tinky, hey, good to see you again. Welcome back. You've been looking forward to the stream all day at work. Oh, thank you for saying so. Uh, I'm glad you're here, too. Thank you for being here. A um, couple things. Uh, excited to play the new Atomic Heart. I have not played Atomic Heart. I don't know what the, what Atomic Heart is, actually. What is that? Uh, the guy, I guess. Uh, Techno Kicks, it came out already. Oh, my God, I'm downloading now. Yes, it's out, and it's great. You should play it. Johnny Prickett, thank you for following. Ooh, that was cool. Okay, so did that update our side quests? Because, let's see. So these are, if you all joined us late, there are side quests now. And find report on the bridge. Okay, all right. So now the next stage of that side quest is we have to go to the bridge. And lucky for us, we'll be back there in Chapter 8. So we will be able to do that. Uh, so Nicole Brennan, uh, of course, our Nicole, uh, filed a report on the bridge about that incident. 
Cool. All right. Well, I'm glad we made it over here. This is a good stop. All right. I think we are safe if we run around this guy here. And up to the extraction area. Uh-oh. Oh, you're having a bad day. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Blue the Velociraptor, I need my mommy, I'm getting scared. You and me both. <laughs> it's funny. My mom over uh, Christmas was asking me to show me some of my, uh, to show her some of my new videos. And I'm like, Mom, I make content about this game that's all about cutting apart space zombies. I don't think you want to watch any of that. Like, I love that you want to support me, but like, uh, I don't know. Let me show you my Psychonauts videos. <laughs> all right. So I remember this room. There is a, looks like a whole, let's see, this is the uh, extraction room where all of the uh, extra uh, ore gets blown off into space. And if I remember right, uh, this worked a little, let's see, this was a zero gravity room. It may be a zero gravity room later. Game Tape Friends Online, good to see you. Welcome back. Hi. Um, so in the, er, in the other game, we had to blast out some additional um, kind of like unmined ore into this little stream here. I don't know if I'll do that again here. So let's see. Uh, the guy, I guess, said it hasn't come out yet, but it's coming out soon. It's about a guy who kills robots. Okay, I'll look out for it. Thank you. All right. Geo, is this the remake? Yes, it is. It just came out on Friday. I heard something crash. What was that? Oh. Uh-oh. No, none of you. We don't like infectors in my house. Anyone else? Phew. Okay, good. All right, so that was an infector, um, and uh, they if you are not quick enough, they will uh, turn any dead bodies into necromorphs, and they are very quick about it. Uh, Blue the Velociraptor, do I play Call of Duty Zombies? I don't really. I haven't yet. Uh, we've been streaming a lot of Dead Space on the channel, so I've been doing a lot of that here. Uh, I'm going to save real quick before everything pops off, because if I remember right, if this is the room I think it is from the original, things are going to get wild in here. All right, let's do that. Oh, thank you for following, uh, Corian. Uh, let's see. My Lord Chaos said, might want to do some research on that game. Is there maybe a certain scene that might be an issue for live streaming? Are you talking about uh, Call of Duty Zombies or Atomic Heart? Okay, so we got a battery. Where does this battery go? Elevator to mining control is here. Uh, uh, get in there. Get in there. Some things haven't changed from the original, obviously. Okay, now, where are we headed? We are going up the elevator, I presume? Yes. Atomic Heart does. Okay, good to know. I'll watch out for that. We've got a bench. Oh, this is going to be that. This is that chapter with that guy who cuts off his own limbs in order to prevent. From, oh, man, this one's creepy. I don't know if that's still in this one, but in the, uh, in the original game, there was just the gnarliest audio log, and it's in this chapter. Uh, secured the subdeck perimeter, IEDs, plasma cutter, tripwire, survey charges. Three injured and Lingen is out of action. Her medications run out. Rest of the supplies are holding up so far. Ammo, food, water, and thruster fuel, even without the stuff for the SOS beacon. Uh, wired external accesses. All the mining bays are online now. Lingen unconscious. Nothing we can do. Uh, entry three. Uh, they broke through the floor vent. One of those uh, flying guys went right for Lingen's body, and then we were fighting six instead of five. Uh, cut them up and shipped it all down to the smelters for a quick cremation. Can't take any risks. Uh, survey charge went off too soon. Lost uh, Schlegel, Fick, and, Zilt and Zittle. Never seen the inside of a head before. Took them to the smelter to be cremated. Then supply inventory can't sleep. Too dangerous here. Took some gear to hold up somewhere safer. McSweeney followed me, yelling out being selfish. Me. Uh, he was the one leading those things right to me. Fix McSweeney. Uh, visited smelter. Can't sleep. Can't sleep cold. Can't hear the others yelling. They're going to get me killed. Lingen's right. I need peace and quiet, and the smelters need fuel. That's, that's, that's like straight out of Resident Evil. That's basically itchy tasty right there. Oh, man. The guy, I guess, can't wait for Resident Evil 4 to come out. Me too. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> What's a necro? Are those the zombies? Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Quintavious, it's in this one, and it's just as painful to listen to. Oh, man. Oh, that one is so hard to listen to. It's so good, but it's rough. Traps ahead again. Okay. Let's see. Lantern 485, is this worth uh, buying, or am I going to feel like I'm playing Dead Space all over again? I mean, you're going to feel like you're playing Dead Space all over again, but I think it, they've done a lot of really good changes, so I think it's worth it. All right, let's go up. 
What is here? Mm, oh, there we are. Okay. House. Oh. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but the music just got. Oh, God, these things! Get off me! Ah! That's the heart. Okay, once one of these things grabs you, then it's impossible to. It won't uh, let you engage your weapons. All right, there's another one right there. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. Like, I can't actually draw my weapon until those things are gone. Oof. Mentally gone, how scary would I rate it from 1 to 10? I mean, it's pretty scary. It obviously scary is in the eye of the beholder, but, like, I'm having fun. All right. Uh, Semi Ramirez, is this a remake or a new game? It's a remake of, uh, of the original Dead Space 1. Ugh. All right, yeah, folks are, let's see, over in YouTube chat are saying, fair to say if you really like uh, Dead Space and are curious about how a modern remake would look like, sure, it's worth the purchase if you got the cash. I agree. Ooh, ooh, what is here? What is, oh, this is the mining control room. I remember this. Okay. So, see this big old, wait, hang on, I heard something. Oh, there's more of these little jerks. Where are they? I think we got it. All right, cool. I don't hear any others. Ooh. Okay. So this is the asteroid that uh, we need to plant the SOS beacon on. Um, so if we can accomplish that, then we can blast the asteroid out into space, hopefully get someone's attention, and they can come to rescue us. Uh, Ross Chapman, does this game play on S Xbox One? It plays on the Series S and the Series X, uh, but not the base Xbox One as far as I know. Uh, we got a text log. What is this here? Uh, mining deck A Dallas. We got to find Dallas's rig, by the way. Uh, Planet Cracker of Age of Seven was conducted smoothly. Everything went sm uh, conducted today. Everything smoothly on our end. Seem to be some problems planet side. We temporarily lost contact with the colony. Tethers are stable. Uh, first rock ball was extracted. Tectonic load approximately one, one hour after planet crack. Uh, results even exceeded optimistic initial estimates. Normal recovery is 35%. Uh, this was 65%. Full production is now in progress. Uh, assuming it's not an anomaly, we've hit a mother load. Yeah, so the lore on this was Age of Seven was uh, restricted by EarthGov, so no one is allowed to come mine it. But the CEC decided to go do it on the guise of helping humanity, but of course, as we all know, they are here to potentially find the marker. Um, let's see, a couple questions. Does the 360 version of Dead Space play on Xbox Series X? Probably. I don't have an Xbox, so I can't say for sure, but I think it does. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, so I have to trade up. That's great. Sorry, Ross. Yeah, this is for next gen or current gen. I guess we'd say now only. Joseph Esparza, Ross Chapman, thank you for following. Imagine Dead Space, but in VR. Everyone's been saying they want to play this game in VR. I don't. No. No, I don't. I, I think it'll be just too scary. Um, oh, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, Bylar Chaos. Yes, mentioned. Uh, yeah, if you're on the YouTube, if, you, uh, if you're enjoying the stream. Actually, on both. If you're enjoying the uh, stream on YouTube or TikTok, uh, please leave a like. Uh, also, if you want to watch on uh, YouTube in full screen, uh, my link's in my bio if you want to come over to YouTube. If you enjoy TikTok, that's totally fine, too. I'm just glad you're here. Oh! Maintenance sub deck. Maybe he left the SOS beacon there. Okay. I just hope you can reach it through these malfunctions. Not malfunctions. Traps. <laughs> the miner's way of holding the line. Shit. Okay. I'll unlock the sub decks. Just make sure that beacon's not wired to anything. All right. So, uh, we got to go find uh, the... Uh, we got to go find the SOS beacon on a different sub deck. Now, um, Jacob Temple is Elizabeth Cross's partner, and so she's the one looking for him. In the original game, we only find um, we only find audio logs from him, and then we ultimately see uh, him in his last moments uh, late in the game. Uh, so it would be interesting to see if uh, we actually find him, because we have found Elizabeth Cross, so there's no reason we couldn't find Temple as well. Uh, Matthew Hare is just living up to the original. Yes, I think so, absolutely. I'm a big fan of the original. I'm having a blast with it. Ross Chapman, he spoke. Yes, Isaac is voiced now. So this is uh, Gunnar Wright did the voice of Isaac in 2 and 3, and he's here for 1 as well. There's a lot of noise right here. That's not good. 
Uh oh. If you would play this game, you would have run to your mom. That's why I like watching people play. Okay. Hey, I'm just glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Oh, man. Don't connect that beacon. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know if that beacon's a trap. We'll find out. All right, let's get back to the elevator. And so we got to find... Uh, we have... Oh, thanks for following, Monk. Uh, let's see. We got to find the other two subdecks, and then hopefully we will find uh, the... SOS beacon, as well as Temple and Dallas's rig. So Dallas's rig is something we need for that master override access. Was there? There was another. There was another trap over here, and it's weird to me that it's not here anymore. I don't know if that means anything. Ooh, we got something here. Credits. All right, Alexander Figueroa. Thanks for following. I hear something. Uh, Big Papa, am I, am I going to play uh, Hogwarts Legacy? I don't know. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Like, I like Harry Potter fine. I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm too cool for it. But, like, I feel like there's other streamers that will be way better at, at Hogwarts Legacy because they know how the game... They know so much more about the franchise than I do. Uh, Ergen Flangel Cinnabutters, thanks for following. Have I played uh, Callisto Protocol? Did I enjoy it? I did. I actually... I did play it. I did enjoy it. I think there's some missed opportunities there because they rushed it. But overall, I think the game is good. It's worth checking out. I would maybe recommend buying it at a discount uh, if you haven't yet. Um, but I did enjoy playing it. I'm hoping the story DLC will be better. Kenny, uh, Alex Figaro, you played on 360. Yeah. Oh, man. The original uh, for this game was so good back in that era. All right. Let's see. Where is B? Here's B. All right. We have not been to deck B yet. Oh, Hi. I appreciate that, like, not every Necromorph in this game is just sitting around waiting to ambush me. There's been a few that I've gotten the drop on so far, and that's been making this game a lot more fun. Kenny Turner, you paid full price, haven't really sat down to play it yet. Honestly, I mean, I paid full price. I'm not mad about it. Um, I think there's a lot of good there, and I'm hoping the story DLC will clear up a lot of, like, what folks, uh, some feedback people had. Uh, what is this? Activate play. Hey. Are you Oh, it's Temple. Um, I couldn't reach you. If you find this, I'm off deck, but I'll be right back. I got a call from another survivor. It sounded terrifying. I'm gonna lock up the SOS beacon and go and get him. The best launch window is not for a while, anyway. And he sounds like he's worth the risk. He's a doctor, uh, Mercer, I think. Uh oh. About time. We got a fucking break. <clears throat> I love you. Okay, so that's our beacon. Okay, obviously, uh, Mercer is not necessarily out to help anyone, as we know from the last playthrough we did. Oh, man. All right, and that's Temple. So that's, uh, we are definitely looking for him. Hopefully, we find him, hopefully, in one piece. Let's move this stuff. Oh, man. Deathstroke, uh, let's see, Callisto is disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that like it definitely could have been better, and I'm hoping that they uh, they make some improvements with it. <laughs> Got to experience the first time. Uh, did the same with the with the Last of Us remake. Looks awesome. Keep it up. Thank you. I plan to. What is all here? Also, to put it in another perspective, the the publisher will see that game is selling well. Could give a go ahead for a sequel, remake, or a brand new game. Yeah, I mean like I could see if this sells well. I mean I think that's plenty of. Um, Plenty of reason to think that, like, either a remake of Dead Space 2 or just a straight-up Dead Space 4 um, would do well. Um, and I think, like, there's been so much hype for this game that you could really make that case. Ooh. Uh, Brock Lemur, which is better, Last of Us remake or Dead Space remake? I have not played the uh, Last of Us remake. So I can't say for sure. I'm having a blast with this, though. I played the PS4 uh, version. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. No. All right, pregnants. We need to be very careful with these guys, or we'll have more swarmers to deal with. Okay, I think we're good. Phew. Okay. Yeah, I played the PS4 Last of Us 1, and I mean, it wasn't bad. You know, it's The Last of Us. Last of Us is a great game. But it was just like, you know, it was the original Last of Us I played on PS3 with, like, prettier graphics. All right. Hey, Brian! 
Oh, sorry to hear you got called to work. That's cool. I mean, hey, if work calls, don't even worry about it. But, um, you know, hey, if you if you do have time, love to have you here. And if you have lives to save, I totally understand. All right. Still looking for the admin rig. Uh, here, before we do that, though, of course, I have to go the wrong way and see if there's stuff down. Oh, God. No, no stuff. Just more of these guys. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Uh, Brock, I am on YouTube. Uh, the link's in my bio if you want to come over and watch on YouTube. I'd love to have you here, too. Either way, if you enjoy TikTok, feel free to hang out on TikTok. But you can watch it full screen on YouTube if you want. Oh, that's not nice. I have not been able to parry these guys yet. Ooh, got me. You got another one. So you see how his, his leg is consumed by fire right now? Hey! Hey! Get back. Is that it? No! You're still going. Oh, man. Woof! <laughs> Zoe Black, you love this game? Yeah, I do too. Uh, this is not for PS4, though. This is for PS5. Um, so, yeah. Jiminy Cricket is here. <laughs> cool. Hey, you know what? I could use more Jiminy Crickets in my life. All right. Uh, scan rig. This is not something we can do with. All right. Do those bloated zombies call more zombies when they explode? The bloated zombies have those little swarmer guys in their sacks. So if you shoot their sacks, their sacks will explode, and your life goes from bad to worse very quickly. Oh, man. Zoe Black and Greg Dussel, thank you for following. All right. I'm going to swap back to the Ripper. Oh, what is this? We got another audio log. Security request. Ooh. He'll live for the rest of his life if you don't give me codes to the cargo bay. This is processing. Why the hell would we have codes for cargo? I must get to the marker. We're running out of time. Give me those codes. Christ, is this what you did to the captain? No, no. Ben was an accident. Don't you dare compare me to someone like Mercer. I'm trying to save you. The markers are only home. No, let him go. He's armed. Where the fuck is security? Okay. So, uh, we know Dr. Kine came to the mining deck. Um, after he killed the captain. And now Dr. Kine is, uh, he is, he now believes that the marker has to be returned to the planet below. He's also been referring to Amelia a lot, um, recently, and we learned in an audio log that Amelia was his wife who died, like, several years ago. So if you played this game, you know very well what that means. All right, let's press on. Uh, mm hmm, hmm. I think we're down here. Yeah, okay, this is where we went before. Let's go. They should have made a, a wave mode for this game. Maybe. I could see that being fun. Ooh. Uh-oh. What was that? Okay, this is locked. I remember this room. Oh! Yeah, this is that room. Okay, okay, hold on. I know exactly where we are. Look out. All right, you look normal so far. There's just the one of you. Plasma energy, thank you for that. Restore. And some flamer fuel. Uh, how long is this game? You only want to buy it if it's longish. I think it's like 12 to 15 hours, I want to say. We've been playing, I would say it's roughly about like an maybe like an hour and 20 minutes per chapter on average and there's 12 chapters so it's probably like 12 15 hours i think um we get through roughly three chapters in four hours on this stream but i'm also stopping to talk to people and all that good stuff you know um so who knows uh my lord case yeah 12 to 15 hours sounds right i think that's that's fair if you're taking the time and doing the side quests and not like just mainlining the main quest you could that that seems like that would be good this game looks like a haunted house yes it's a haunted spaceship Okay. The administrator's rig should be in the processing control room, but someone tripped the failsafe. The control room door can't open till gravity is restored, but the system won't reset the gravity while there's loose debris. At least the processing beam's still running. Stand by. All right. So we're going to have to take these rocks and throw them in the beam, and that will blast them out to space. 
There are four anomalies. But before we do that, we need to go collect everything in this room because there's going to be a big old fight if this is anything like the original. Get some Ripper Blades. I will always take those. All right. Let's see, there's the control area. This... Oh, God. This is so totally different now that you don't have to, like, fling yourself across the room. This is just locked, so I don't know if we can get in there later. Uh, all right. Let's do these ones over here. And we're not going to finish it until we have actually gotten all the way um, around the room. Uh, no, we actually can't. So that works out fine. Uh, okay, so we have to dip under these. Haunted spaceship is even worse. Yes, yes it is. All right, let's move over here. Don't see any new items, but we got these things. That's not what I want. I want to hang on to you. But you, however, need to go. All right. Oh, something's here. I just... Oh, these little guys. Oh, you are dead. All right. Uh, I got one more shot. Oh, it's here somewhere. Oh, crap. All right. All right. I think that's dead. Uh, but there's one more I saw running around over here. Where are you? There you are. Ow. Whoa! Whew! Oh, medium med pack. Heck yes. Give me that. Okay, there's one more thing. Something just, like, swiped at me and missed. Where are you? I know there's at least one more lurker here. At least there should be. I hear it. Oh, there you are. I think... Are you dead? Nope, you're not. You're almost dead. Oh my god, it's screaming! Oh, that's a great effect. It was like... So, um, the new upgrade I have for my plasma cutter will set targets on fire after it hits them. So, like, it'll start to do additional, like, uh, like, like damage to the, the limb if it's not, uh, if it doesn't immediately kill it. And so the, the lurker was actually screaming. Ugh. Do the zombies infinitely spawn or they said they stay dead permanently? They stay dead permanently for the undead. Um, they don't come back. I think, like, once they're dead, they're dead. Uh, let me just reload everything. The baby scream. Yeah. It was a great effect, but it's actually kind of haunting. Also, I feel kind of bad because I was, like, getting excited about hearing a, a baby mutant screaming just now. Uh, okay. So this is, this is the room where I believe the beacon is. Where's the other rock? There you are. Okay. Can I grab that from up here? I can. Credits. We'll head over here, toss that in the, uh, in the area and see. I'm going to move that right here so that I can easily get it later. Because later on in this room, assuming this works out the same way, once we turn off zero G, everything goes wild. Is that all of them? Nope, that's not. There's one more over there and I missed it. It's an abomination at that point. Death is a mercy. You know, Brian, you're probably right. All right. That's everything. Let's get out of that beam's way. Uh, work our way back to the control panel. Okay. Cool. Can you throw bodies into that beam? Maybe. Now, when we uh, when we turn off gravity control, though, it'll be uh, a little more challenging to do. But like, yeah, the normal zombies don't scream when uh, when they're on fire. They just roar and grunt. Yeah, probably. Okay, now. All right. Uh oh, somebody got me from behind. You did. Oh God. Oh, I I wanna I wanna keep the exploder far away from that pregnant. Oh, man, things just... I feel like another one just missed me over the shoulder. Uh-oh! Oh, God, it's one of you. Okay, let's run. Get the heck away from those things. Okay, you are now far away from the pregnant Nakamura if I can kill you. 
And now we can go after that guy. Oh, man, one arm left and he's still going. Good for you, buddy. That's some can-do spirit. Also die. Can you TK through a living necromorph? Uh, you can nail them to the wall. Um, I don't know that you can TK multiple ones. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Okay, anything else here? All right, I think we're done. Um, did that other room ever open? No, it didn't. That one's locked, but this one is open now. I'm also very low on plasma ammo. So we got to manage that. 400 credits. What else is here? 400 credits. Line racks. Yes. Thank you for that. That might be... Is this... This is Dallas's rig. Okay, so this will be for that side quest where we have to get all the rigs. Oh! And now I got level 3 clearance. Yes! All right, good. Okay. Anything else here? Uh, we have an audio log. Supervisor Dallas. Final log. Now, I've made sure they can't leave this sub deck. But neither can I. Oof. I've seen what they do. To the bodies. What they become. And I cannot let that happen. To me. Oh, God. At least it's if not... I don't have any limbs. <laughs> and I can't kill anyone when I'm infected. I can't even look at him. I know what he's going to do. He's still handling it better than I would. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. So he um, he uh, basically did not want to turn into a necromorph, and he knew that uh, if he had no limbs, then uh, that he wouldn't be able to run around as a monster and just took his own limbs off. That guy has an iron will. I am I am both impressed and horrified. Ugh. Imagine if the limbs transformed to a zombie. No. No, Blue Velociraptor. I will not imagine that, because that is also horrifying. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. What's here? What is going on? Whoop. Nothing, just a little power outage. Okay, no big deal. No, never mind. There's something just. Okay, the vent blew out, but nothing was there. Fine, fine. Gotta admire his determination. Yes, I do, but I also. I, I couldn't do it. The administrator's rig changed location. You got it? I got it. I'll check the maintenance sub deck for Temple speaking. I mean, I would just blast myself into space. I think that would probably, uh, you know, accomplish the same thing and also be way less awful. It would probably still be awful to die out there, but, like, at least, at least, uh, you know, that seems easier than what he just did. Ugh. All right. Do I get scared easily sometimes? I mean, I stream a lot of survival horror games, so I see a lot of weird stuff on stream. A new meaning to stay determined. Yeah, that guy is filled with determination. I mean, he's got a little, you know, a little less determination in him right now after all that. But, like, oh, God. All right. So now we're going to go down to deck D. Chris Cathartic. Hooray, you're back. I see other playing this game, but I don't really feel like uh, feel right watching them. Oh, you can watch whoever you want. Don't feel don't feel like you, uh, you're you betraying me if you check out other people. But I am glad you're here. Thank you. You're the only survival horror gamer I watch. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, I would think, like, that would be a better alternative if I had to, like, if I wanted the same result... That would at least prevent me from uh, from from 
ending up like that. Okay, look at how many of these claws are still here. We can use all of these for TK if we get bound, if we get jumped again. That's one thing I, I really appreciate. The um, wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> They're bringing the marker to the crew deck? Okay, that was all new, uh, and apparently the uh, the marker sickness is starting to take hold for everybody. I don't know, like, they saw Hammond and they saw the marker. I don't know if that's true or, or what happened, but yikes. Uh, Brian says, I watch you and Jack set the guy. Wow, that is a really good club of people to be in. Thank you for that. Uh, the Necros uh, were the remaining crew. Yeah, it's all the crew has been turned into Necromorphs um, by the, uh, by the, the marker. Uh, and and all the all the other necros that have uh, changed this. If you cut off a limb, does it stay? Yeah, these are the. Uh, oh, thank you uh, for the gamepad wolf. These this is everybody that I killed when we uh, when they jumped me in the elevator. And what I love about this is those don't disappear, at least not for a little while. Um, I noticed like when I've been backtracking through levels, there were times when I like was out of inventory space and I had to drop something. That item is still there. Like, it really feels like this is one continuous experience instead of just a section of, like, levels here and there. Alyssa, I've been uh, waiting for people playing this, but I was waiting for... I've been seeing so many people playing this. I've been waiting for to see you to get back today because I like the vibe of your stream. Oh, thank you, Alyssa. I appreciate that. I mean, it's just everybody here is so great. That's why I keep coming back and doing this. So thank you for being back here again. Ooh. All right. We've got we've got some, some of these globular... Oh, God. Wolf and Martin uh, and Matt Martin, thank you for following. I hear something out there. Oh, you know what I hear? I hear those freaking things. Um, we'll get the line gun ready for this. Oh, TM77, thank you for following. Where is that thing? There it is. Oh, no, no. Okay, Infector's down. Hopefully that's the end of that. I don't know if that's the only one, though. Where is... Oh, thank you for that. Uh-oh. That's got to be on hold, though, because we are getting into some real trouble. Oh, we're out. Oh, we're out of you, too. Okay, Ripper time. I'm stuck on the geometry crap. Okay. Oh, thank you, small med pack. Oh, that's about what kept me alive there. All right, I don't know what just got me. Is somebody still alive? You're still alive, little infector. Thank you for that small med pack. Oh, man. All right. But we still have... What's-his-face is still alive over there. I can't believe we got out of that. Okay, I thought we were in trouble. Uh, Fade X Maker, thanks for following. Uh, yeah, my Lord Chaos Health was the right call. Uh, okay. Um, let's take... You out. Okay, that's dead. Ah! There we go. Thank you. Is it gone yet? I don't know if it is. Nope, not yet. Shoot, I am very low on health and ammo. Okay. Well, crap. Okay. Um, I feel like we need to go back to the store. We are we are not going to survive as is. I'm going to go back up to, to level A. Not dead, not dead. Yeah, you know what? We're not dead. That's what matters. But we were about to be. 
And hopefully we don't get jumped in here. Uh, do they disappear or it depends? I think... Oh, we gotta use the flamethrower. Um, I think that the folks that are dead down there are gonna stay dead. But that, that became way too intense and I am very, very close to being out of ammo. Uh, Nerdy Spoon and Brandon Osborne, thank you for following. Oh, yeah, hasty retreat. That was the right call. I have, I have zero regrets about that. I'm just glad we made it out alive. We need more ammo and more health. Assuming nothing jumps us here, we at least have the flamethrower. I don't know if that's a good thing to, to use in tight, you know, confined spaces, but we are out of options. Oh, there's deck B. All right. Phew. Contact beam. I don't have the contact beam in my loadout right now. Actually, I moved it. So we may have to go to the contact beam. I'm probably going to sell off maybe some of the force gun energy or something like that. But yeah, it's just in a tough spot where, like, it was so close to being dead, but it kept shooting out those little tentacle guys. All right. The contact beam is broken. It is, and I love it. I love how broken the contact beam is. All right, let's go do this correctly. Now we have access level three. What do you have? 1,800 credits. Oh, I'm going to use the heck out of you. Thank you for that. Um, anything else over here? I don't, do I have any nodes? Uh, no. We have 22,500 credits. Let's put them to good use. Oh, we've got some more credits over here that we missed before. Give me that. Okay. Oh, do the limbs stay on the ground or they disappear? Well, I mean, those claws seem to have. That's when you'd want the javelin. Yeah, the javelin gun would have been great for that. Uh, okay. Uh, in my inventory, I also have that. Great. Okay. So here's what we're going to get. We're going to get two medium health packs. I keep forgetting that now I can just buy the quantity I want. We're going to get a whole mess of this. Um... I can't buy line gun stuff yet. What else over here? Oh, we have one more. I'm going to move you to my inventory. Maybe a stasis pack as well. So we were out of that. Uh, and line racks. Okay. So, let's do some healing. Spending the space rubles. Yeah. <laughs> Got to. That was not... Uh, we were, we were going to be in rough shape without it. All right, let's reload this. Cool. Uh, we don't have any Ripper Blades. We'll get some of those. And then we got 24 Plasma Ammo. We should probably get some more Plasma Ammo even on top of that. Um, just because we've got... The next section is the uh, the platform, if, uh, if I recall correctly. Alright, let's get some Ripper Blades. Alright, that should get us in a good spot. Okay, time for round two. I'm going to save. All right. Yeah, you were right, my Lord Cass. Absolutely. Just in case. I'm going to enjoy for right now uh, not having to replay all that much until we start playing impossible modes again. All right, hopefully... Hopefully all will be well. Now, I really appreciate in this game the dynamic encounters about how, like, they will just have folks pop out at different times. Sometimes they'll pop out. Sometimes, like, the vent will, will blow out and you don't see anything, um, which is great, but it also scares the crap out of me because it means you're never really safe. Am I going to stream this tomorrow or only on, re on weekends? Uh, Brian, it'll be uh, weekends. Um, because I, unfortunately, have to go back to work. Um, and then also... Um, uh, we're I'm uh, capturing footage for um, for uh, the YouTube video I'm going to do on this. Uh, so yeah, we, we'll be back on our usual time. It'll be Saturday at um, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. All right. I think it's on this side. Okay, everything seems to be going all right. All right, good. We will use maybe the plasma cutter here and then maybe the line gun on the tentacles. And I think I want to say that um, that the damage we did will will stick around, but we'll find out. Uh, you hope they don't make a movie about Dead Space, you'd be scared. I mean, if they, you better be if they make a movie about Dead Space. Uh oh, hey, right. there we go. Kept missing. 
All right, and now... Look at that, we were so close. That's okay. That is just fine. These things used to give good, uh, good rewards. This one didn't give me anything. What the heck? Oh, wait a minute, here we go. 100 credits, yay. <laughs> oh, man. Movie would be tense, but I'd watch it. I'd watch the movie. They've made a few, like, little anime movies. They're just not very good. Uh, this is the equipment bay. If that's the equipment bay, then what's over here? Uh, secure storage. Oh, obviously, let's go into storage. Is the buzzsaw infinite? No, there are only a minimum number of blades that you can use. Oh, man, this room, this room scares the crap out of me. Look at this. No power. I don't like the... Okay, so we've got a circuit breaker. No power to anything. Storage one, two, three, and four. Okay, we can only open one at a time. Let's go to storage one. You love the animated movies. They're so bad. They're good. They're, I mean, they're good from a lore perspective, but, like, are they entertaining? No. They just kind of... They're there to fill in... Oh, God, you, you guys again. Ah, one zombie. Get off me. All right. There we go. Ugh. I get just barely not enough time to react, and then when, when one pounces on you, it, you're done. Okay. I don't like that there's a big old exposed vent right there. Small med pack. Oh, Ruby Semiconductor. Heck yeah, that's 10,000 credits. Okay. You had high expectations for the uh, for the, the Dead Space movies? Oh, man. I, I wish that I could be, I could be faithful in, in them being good, but like... I watched one of them, and it was just like... Uh-oh. Hold on. It just seemed like their only purpose was to just fill in the lore gaps, but it wasn't to be a good movie. You know? We like horror, even when it's dark and depressing. The animated movies just missed the mark for us. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. Uh, you saw the Venom 2 movie. Have I seen it? I have not seen that yet. Is it any good? Uh, Blue the Velociraptor? All right. Storage 2. Let's hear it. Where is storage two? Uh, oh, are you buried? One of the, oh, wait a minute. No, it's right there. Okay, we walked right past it. Anything here? So far, so good. We have an audio log. Oh. Cool. Okay, so if you don't know why I was freaking out, that's the opening uh, cutscene to Dead Space 2, um, where it does a flashback and, like, introduces the fact that Isaac was, like, uh, sorry, Nicole was, was half and half on taking the job on the Ishimura, and Isaac pushed her to do it. So he obviously, you know, as of right now, it's not that big a deal, but later on, he, you know, feels a certain, some some feelings about that. Uh, I'm going to try really hard not to, not to spoil stuff. Um... But, yeah, that was, uh, I guess this is where Nicole was hiding out. He can help us. She's right. Uh, never should have been brought on board. And we have some x-rays. I don't know if this was Nicole's hideout. Let's see. We got another audio log. Log retrieved. Record them. What difference does it make now? Oh, yes, this is, this is Kynes' area. I is responsible for the outbreak. I need to understand how. It's signal. When it pulses, that signal can trigger alterations in genetic code. Neural structure, even. You've felt it, haven't you? But how do I stop it? Mercer must know. He's taken all his marker research up to his room on the crew deck and sealed... No, no. Sealed it? Do you know how? Please, I need 
Mercer's data. No, he'll kill you. I won't have more deaths on my conscience. Unitology was all I had after I lost Amelia. Look what it's come to. Terrence, listen. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far because you made me stick with it. Ooh. Well, just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You loved Amelia as much as I love Isaac, but if I can't cure this outbreak, I'll never see him again. Please help me. Three nine two seven seven. If you must get into Mercer's room. Three nine two seven seven. That coach should still work. Thank you. Here. These are safer with you. Dr. Brennan. Nicole. The only thing Mercer ever feared was death. Now, I doubt he's afraid of anything. Okay, that was cool. All right, so it looks like uh, Nicole and Dr. Kine were working uh, together to take out Mercer. And uh, I guess when we get to uh, the crew deck, we'll be able to get into Mercer's quarters and advance the, uh, the thing there. Although it's interesting how, like, that that one clip kept kind of, like, coming back uh, of Nicole and Isaac. And I'm pretty sure that's the marker uh, trying to uh, stop Isaac from stopping it, if you will. Ooh, Rakeem Carter, this is like watching a movie. Yeah, thank you. Uh, there's kind of, yeah, there was a lot of a uh, lot of uh, cutscene in there. Uh, Debrion uh, T. Gatson, welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, yes. Yeah, it was a video call in Dead Space 2, Brian. You're right. Yeah, I don't know why there's an audio log there. Um, but, you know, that's cool. Um, yeah, it would have been cool if they uh, if they redid the video, too. Uh, Dante's Inferno is as solid of a game as God of War derivative could be. Yeah, I could see that. Um, yeah, this was, I guess, her little hideout. Maybe it was her office. I don't know. But it seems like she was kind of working in secret in some of these areas to get people out of unitology. So then maybe this is. Um, ooh. Yeah, Game Tape Friends Online. Kind of a lot happened last time. Um, it's definitely either, you know, worth checking out the VOD because there was uh, some big changes to chapters 5 and 6. Or plan it yourself. Either way. But, like, uh, yeah, it's been, going, uh, it's been going very well. And they've integrated... Dead Space 2 canonically a lot into this, which I, you know, as someone who likes Dead Space 2, really appreciate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Really appreciate. All right. All right. Let's get to storage three. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Just this guy. Okay. And what about storage four? Now, this might have been the room that was... Yeah, this is <clears throat> potentially all blocked off. Now, I don't see a way to blow that wall up. So, I don't know that we're going to get into storage four. Uh, Blue the Velociraptor, is this live on YouTube now? Yes. Uh, the link to my YouTube channel is in my bio. And we're co-streaming on YouTube and TikTok. So, it's the same stream. But we have, like, you know, some extra graphics in a different chat room and all that. So, if you want to come over, same for everybody else. You're welcome to. If you're enjoying it on TikTok, hang out there, too. And MylerCast, thank you for reminding, uh, yes, if anybody's watching and you're not subscribed yet, we do stream every weekend. We'll be doing a lot more Dead Space content, so if you're enjoying this, uh, please uh, subscribe and come hang out with us some more. All right, let's press on, though, to the maintenance bag. Now, in the original game, yeah, okay, this was a big freaking platform disaster um, where we're just going to get sniped at. So this is why I really wanted to get more plasma ammo. Because we're going to need it. Alright. So, the equipment bay is down there. And in the original game, that's where the SOS beacon was. And there was all sorts of folks that are going to show up here and try to prevent us from getting there. So, <sighs> let's try to make it. Alright. The people on the walls freak you out. Me too. It's just straight out of Aliens. And that was always the creepiest thing in Aliens to me. May not be able to look at video or chat while driving. Uh, not a worry. Focus on the road. If you're driving, do that. But but thank you for being here. We got... Okay. Got those things. We got another... Whoa. Oh, you're a spitter. Never mind. We do have to take you out. Okay. Got credits. Not too many, though. Oh, I see you. Man, this fire upgrade is awesome. You don't like the zombies roaring in the background? Yeah, there's a lot of that here. Are you a spitter? Yeah, you are. 
All right, we're almost there. Not so bad so far. I don't want to use too many of these tanks because we're going to need them later. Because you can imagine the ride back is no more peaceful than that. But we did all right. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hi, Nicole. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're here. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm going to get us home. There's an SOS beacon nearby. We can call for help. The beacon, right. They locked it in the workshop, but my clearance can get us in this way. Okay. Let's go follow her. I just want to gear up real quick before we get in there. So before we go in, I, I really appreciate... This scene was always a little different. It was a little strange to watch without, um, without uh, Isaac speaking. So I think it'll be very different now that we actually get to see him interact with her. What's in the room here? Ooh, okay, a couple little stasis jars. Oh, yeah, coming at me first. Hey! Oh God, you're still alive. Uh oh. Give me a claw. Thank you. Anyone else? Surely there's more. There's always more. It's done. The workshop's open. That's it? I've never seen you at work. You're a surgeon with that thing. I got your back. You're a surgeon. Okay. How do I reach you? No. Focus on launching that SOS beacon. There's maintenance ducts everywhere. I'll catch up. Press my heart. I love you, Isaac. You can do this. You'll put things back the way they were. And make us whole again. <sighs> okay. Alright. That was so this is our first time seeing Nicole. And, you know, I, I like the new Nicole. I do. I think like They've always kind of had a little bit of a challenge nailing uh, Nicole's tone in uh, in both Dead Space One and Two. I don't know. That was that's probably that's the best version of her I've seen so far. Uh, that was good. Okay, uh, this game was good. I, I wish you could. Oh, you wish you could play the remake. Oh man, if if you get the chance, uh, uh, <laughs> you wish you could buy the remake. Yeah, you, if you don't have the uh, the console for it, I understand. But uh, it's definitely worth it if you get a chance. Uh, the zombies are roaring at me. Yeah. <laughs> um, was this in the original, Brian? Yes, it was. It was in the original, except, of course, Isaac couldn't talk. So it was all Nicole just talking at you the whole time. Um, oh, you guys are talking about uh, YouTube Premium. You can't go back to dealing with YouTube with ads. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. Um, okay, so iOS YouTube won't let you tag, but you can do it on computer. That's interesting. <laughs> Red flag. Oh, interesting. All right, cool. That actually wasn't so bad. I remember there being way more necromorphs. Here, but that actually that was pretty manageable. I wonder if it's different on higher difficulties, and certainly we'll find out. Let me just see if there's anything else to collect before we go in there. All right, let's go. Ooh, let's go with this, Jewel. You missed uh, yesterday's gameplay. If you want, Jewel, um, the uh, the whole video is on my YouTube channel. There's a link in my bio. Um, but of course, if you want to just join us for this, that's also super cool. Glad you're here again. Uh, Daniel Moxley, let's go with this. Absolutely. Uh, Benjamin Var uh, Martin asked, uh, what system? This is on PC. So I'm playing on PC. It is also on uh, PS5, Xbox Series S, and Xbox Series X. Um, what difficulty are we playing on? We're playing on medium for right now. We're definitely going to go back and play uh, this on Impossible, too. 
Uh, intermediate, oh, intermediate minor rig. Okay, this is suit four. So we'll see if we end up getting it. Depends on how many credits we have. Is that more credits? We'll need more than that. Yeah. Uh, there's the beacon, but before we get it, I just want to get everything else in the room. Oh, all right. Yeah, that was well done. I'm glad I, I they, I'm glad they've uh, they've taken some more time to flesh out Nicole in this, both in like the audio logs and in just how she interacts personally. Ooh, there's an elevator. That is not new. Is this stream going to be on YouTube? Yeah, Blue, we're actually on YouTube right now. Um, so I co-streamed to YouTube and TikTok. So uh, my YouTube channel has this live right now, too. And it's just going to be saved on there, too. So either way. Star Wolf, what's up with all this Dead Space love? Was there a remake lately? There sure was. We're playing it right now. And there's the SOS beacon. Okay. You know what I love about this? I don't know what the who decided they needed to, to write that it's okay to be effed up, but you know, I appreciate that uh, the, uh, that validation. All right, let's. Uh, now this was not here before. I lost your rig signal, like Hammond. I'm good. I got the SOS beacon. Nicole helped me out. N Nicole's there. We got separated. She'll find her way back. She's a trooper, huh? I'm heading back to the mining control room. I'll launch the beacon. You watch out for Nicole. Assuming the system doesn't fizzle out again. Stay sharp. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is the part in the game where I think that Kendra is tracking Nicole's rig. And, you know, knows knows a little bit more about Nicole and such. Because you could hear that, like, oh, Nicole's there! You know, like, that that little bit of surprise in her voice. That was, uh, that was a nice touch. Um, okay, let's see. What else is here? Appreciate that I have the brightness down. Every other streamer bumped it up too much. I have it up a little bit. The pro like I have four lights on me right now. So as you can imagine, like when I play dark horror games and there's no brightness slider, like it's so hard to see anything. Um, so I have it up a little bit, but uh, but thank you. Uh, when did the remake come out? Friday. This has been out for two whole days. What chapter are we on, Evander? We are out uh, chapter seven. So we're on the mining deck right now. Uh, game's atmosphere uh, is so amazing with the right lighting. I totally agree. All right, let's go. Yeah, this room is all new. I'm not quite sure where this is going to take us. All right. Anything else here? Doesn't appear to be. All right. Where do we go from here? Oh, we're up top. I don't know why we're up top, but we are. Uh, this is 400 credits. Flamer fuel. Circuit breaker. Uh, gondola, turn off. Zero gravity, turn on. Oh, we can fly out of here. Oh, hell yes. We don't have to do that platform ride a second time. That may end up being way worse than I think it is, but I just want to grab the node. I don't want to touch you. All right. Ugh. The more the brightness is down, the better the graphics. I can see that. You forgot which chapter Isaac meets a certain person. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the plot is going to definitely thicken uh, from here on. I don't know if it's a good idea to do it over here, but I never got to before. Oh, man. Okay, nope. Something over there is about to sprout. Let's get the heck out of here. This is so much better than having to do that, that ride a second time. Oh, I love this. Wall people need hugs. They probably do, but I don't need to give them to them. Someone else can give them those hugs. Ooh. All right. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Mylord Chaos. Yeah, if, um... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We'll get to that in a second. This guy looks way too put together to be dead. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Ooh. Wait, no. He's actually dead. <laughs> this game has trained me to trust nothing. All right. Is this the same game, or did they change a lot? I mean, they've changed a fair amount uh, in terms of the gameplay, but the overall game is is still the same. All right, so we have the SOS beacon. I think we can go now to the asteroid deck and launch it. You feel like you're going to sound like Andrew Ryan, but uh, yes, would you kindly subscribe to the channel? I wish. God, if it were only that easy. 
Oh, man. But yes, if you are watching this on YouTube and you're enjoying yourself, please do like the stream. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We'll be back here Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And continuing on where we leave off today. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Benjamin Martin, thank you for following. We're about to get pounced on. I'm pretty sure. That's an arm. Any claws here? No, claws are gone. I hear something. Oh, there's lurkers up there. Oh, you little jerks. Oh! Oh, that's... We need to have a talk about consent. Don't just grab people. That's rude. There we go. Uh-oh, who else is here? Oh, we got more of them. Oh, it's you. Take your arm off. You're not going to be... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, you're not too much trouble once your arm's off. Anyone else up there? I hear something. You can bring those legs down. Come on. Come on. Ooh, got me. Normally, the Ripper's pretty good about stopping uh, oncoming charges like that. Is that it? Phew! Okay. Now, that was cool. We never had one of these where you actually have to, like, fight them up the shaft before. Like, this this kind of verticality didn't exist in the original game. Whoo! Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, I First person mode. No. No, I don't want to play first-person mode. Same way I don't want to play VR in this game. Forget it. Uh, I alerted the horde, apparently. I guess they... Yeah, Kenny, I think you're right. I think they have leg armor. So I got to have to maybe, like, focus on the upper uh, body now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, all right. Game it was. At least by Isaac's and dinner. Yeah, we need to have a talk about boundaries. That is not okay to touch strangers that way. Ugh. All right. Um, where is... We need... Not, let's see. We need some way to get past that thing. We don't have the block anymore. How do we accomplish that? Is there one over here, maybe? There's not. So we're going to have to take one of these things. Uh-oh. Okay. Power was off, and it's back now. Let's get one more. What keeps turning off the power? I, I don't know that I'm going to like the answer to that question. Ah, so close. I don't know where my big cube was. Made this whole thing so much easier. There we go. Okay, assume we gotta go back this way. Yes. Uh, why do the zombies have blades? So their uh, their arms turn into blades. I'm gonna get some more ammo and such. Um, and get our schematic on. All right, 35,000. Yeah, we don't have anywhere near that. Then we can sell this. Um, but yeah, and the nice thing is you can use your telekinesis to rip the blades off and shoot them back, which is cool. Um, anything on here? I'm going to hold off on that $35,000 suit for now, but I may change my mind later. I'm going to move you to storage. Don't need you. Wait, no, your inventory. We could probably, yeah, we don't need all this flamethrower fuel. I'm going to move a stasis pack. That's probably good. Phew. <laughs> what is gravity? I mean, in this game, what is gravity? Seriously. Okay, we still got to go up this way. We haven't gone over there yet. It's still locked to Mining Bay. Oh, that's probably where we get into the big room with the asteroid. Alright, what else?
else is here. Oh, this level three room we can get in now. Uh-oh. Whoops! <laughs> Don't punch a fire extinguisher is a great life lesson, both in this game and in real life. What is this here? Little eyes, little lies, what secrets have you seen? Ugh. All right. Gold semiconductor. Oh, and a power node. Heck yeah. What's my favorite zombie game? I really liked State of Decay. Uh, the original one. I've not played the sequel, but I really enjoyed State of Decay a lot. Oh. Okay. Let's get back to control. And launch tube, load beacon. Administrator access granted. Prepping launch tubes. Ooh. Of course they are. What was that? The miners must have booby trapped the launch tubes too. They're scrap. Well, that's great. We can't just toss the beacon out a window. Thanks, Kendra. That's really helpful. The asteroid. The one in the mining bay just melted. What about it? If I attach the SOS beacon to that asteroid and then launch it away from the ship, we'd get a clean broadcast. And you'd get yourself killed. The machinery in there is still running, Isaac. Then it probably kept those things out too. This is our best shot, Kendra. I'm taking it. All right. So we're gonna have to attach the uh, the asteroid to that S to the uh, sorry we have to attach the beacon to the asteroid. Oh, large mech pack. Heck yes. Um, and then hope and then blast it away. So let's go do that. Uh oh. What do you want? Where are you? I know you're going to pounce on me. Oh, favorite. Oh, Dying Light and Resident Evil 4. Those were also really good. I should have thought a little harder about that answer. Yeah, Dying Light was great. Resident Evil 4 was great. Oh, it's so tough to choose. I'm going to go to the store. Have I played Doom before? Yes, I have. I like Doom a lot. Doom is great. Uh, let's see. Okay, inventory. I'm going to sell you. 3,000 credits, sell you. Okay, so we're we're not bad. We're doing all right. Um, I will be on a pause for like two seconds before we go into the mining bay. I will be right back, and then we're going to continue on. Uh, so don't go anywhere. All right. Okay, back to it. Sorry about that. Okay, I think this is. Wait a minute. Yep. Sweet. All right. Okay, let's go to the mining bay. Um, now in this level, we're gonna have some leapers if this is like the other section. I appreciate that now it's open. Caesar, thank you for following. Slippy, thank you for following. Yeah, I'm selling everything if I can. Uh, all right, let's go. What is, I hear something. Oh God, it's one of you. We are too close.
I, I still have PTSD from those things from uh, from Dead Space 2. From our uh, our hardcore run. Those things are just straight up run enders. Uh, Danny, PS5 or Series X? Neither. We're on PC right now. Uh, we're playing on the Steam version. Oh, that was close. That's okay. It all worked out. A little bit of strategy and we were okay. Anything to worry about in here? No, I think we're good. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want to be close enough that those things are going to be a problem. Anyone else? All right, let's go. Uh, we have an empty battery slot that we are going to need to fill for the mining deck. I think, I think there's an empty battery out here in the outside. Let's go grab it. Can't watch for some reason your connection is chugging down. Oh no, sorry to hear that, Brian. Pow Pow, thanks for following. Uh, let's see. I think there was a battery here. I want to say. Oh, there it is. Yank that out. Uh, let's see. What is the zombie with the big arm? Uh, that is an exploder. So if they get close enough to you, they will hit you with that big old bag. It will explode and do a ton of damage. And that will be, if if you can if you live through it, you will definitely be hurting. Chances are good you'll just die. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna try to take the arms off. Oh yeah, that worked out so much better. Yeah, I think they do have leg armor. You hated those guys. Yeah, Jewel, me too. On like, oh man, those things ended probably more of our hardcore runs than anything else. Oh, yeah. Sorry to hear about that, Brian. But yeah, don't, you know, if uh, if you need to if you need to run, no worries. Um, but glad to have you here. Okay, where are we going? Down that way. All right. So then, what's here? We have oh storage room. Okay. We seem all right in here so far. Uh oh, stasis packs. All day, every day. Okay, gold semiconductor. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need semi we're gonna need the uh, stasis packs here if this works like it did in the last game. Yeah, it's like the boomer from Left 4 Dead. Definitely, Ronnie Maxwell. Thank you for following. Stabilizing now. Hospitals are terrible for internet. I've heard that. A friend of mine is an ICU nurse at Stanford, and that is apparently a common thing in hospitals. Is the internet is just garbage. Anyone else? Okay. Still good? Okay, off to the mining bay. Let's go. Oh, not yet. Yeah, one of these guys. Alright. They're at least predictable. Ooh, I needed that. That's a cold weapon. The line gun? Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. I'm more of a fan of the Ripper. But the line gun has a special place in my heart, too. Okay, what else is here? Credits. All right, let's go. When you smash the butt, it's like Hulk smash. Very thick walls and ceilings makes it difficult. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, now then. So, what we did in the original game, and I presume we're going to do here, is we have to destroy all four of these gravity tethers. You see this little beam right here? So, all these things are holding the asteroid in place. So, we have to destroy... There's one down here. Um, in the original game, there was one up on the ceiling. It'll probably be there, too. And then, we have to cross outside, um, out into the exterior of the ship, and take out the other two. If we can do that, then we're good. Uh, S Samuel Bell, uh, this is actually... This is the Dead Space remake. Just came out, like, two days ago. So, this is a remake of one. Red Mikey, your favorite Dead Space is two. Yeah, that's a good one, too. And Savannah Albright, thank you for following. All right, let's go. Now, of course, it's never going to be so easy. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, there's one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's going to come down here in a moment. I see you. There's two of them. Uh-oh.
Are you both down? Nope, you're still alive. There we go. Whew. That was close. Anyone else? So far, so good. Okay, so I guess all we had to do was shut it down. We didn't have to, like, full-on destroy it like we do in the original game. Whew. This is almost like a 1v1 remake. I mean, there's definitely some big changes. Um... Kill dust. Oh, hey, thank you for following. Uh, Screaming Jewels, thank you for being here. Is that Jewel who just came over from TikTok? Does that destroy it? Okay, so that's. Alright, so we gotta get to the exterior tethers too. <laughs> oh, awesome, Jewel. Thank you for doing that. You heard my favorite game is Dead Space 3. Oh, T Swifty. I need to replay it. I gotta I gotta go back to it and like really figure out like whether or not there's some there's some good stuff in there that's worth talking about. Alright, let me just wait for this to move and go. Okay. Now we put the Okay, over here. Alright. Now we pop the beacon here. And then go take out these other gravity tethers. This is so much easier in zero G. I love it. All right. Okay. Gravity tether disengaged. Even if the game isn't an all time classic, it could be entertaining. I mean, if people want me to. And obviously, we got like more to do on Dead Space 1 and 2, so we'll be on this for a while. But like, you know, gotta figure out, like, obviously, if we want to do a, uh, a Dead Space 3 stream. I'm down to do it. I don't know that I'm down to do the permadeath mode, though. Alright. Now then, how do we get out of here? Okay, that turned off the machine. Thank the stars. Alright. I don't know if there's any more leapers here. I don't really want to find out. Where's the exit? Or are, we, are we on the ceiling? Oh, we're on the ceiling. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the floor. What uh, difficulty is this, Jesse? This is normal. We're just starting off, uh, but we are going to be doing some. Uh, we're going to be doing some of the um, impossible modes here. Not too long. Wake me up before you fly, fly. That's great. Yeah. So like the hardest. So the um, Dead Space 3's version of hardcore mode is you can save whenever you want to, but it's permadeath. You die. You're you're done. Game's over. I'm not doing that. I'm just calling that right now. <laughs> I have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, why is your connection uh, more stable here than YouTube, Tired Jedi? Good question. I don't know if uh, if maybe um, maybe YouTube is uh, is hurting a little bit right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, watch wherever is more convenient for you. That's totally cool. Is this the guy from G4 Supernova? I wish. Uh, we need more of the zero G gameplay um, that don't have horror backdrops as well. It's so chill. Yeah, I mean, I think Outer Wilds did it really well. If you uh, if you have time for that, that was. Uh, I don't know about streaming Outer Wilds because it's so quiet, but um, but that that's a game that did uh, z gravity as a whole incredibly well. Closest uh, game that has gravity mechanics is Gravity Rush. That would be cool too. I haven't played Gravity Rush. I don't know it. All right, let's get back up to the control room and hopefully fire off the asteroid, surely with no complications whatsoever. Nah, just kidding. It's going to go all wrong. <laughs> Ooh, this is new. I wasn't here before. Going to need this battery, though. Excuse me. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to risk it. I could have I could have YOLO'd it, but no, uh, I don't know. All right. Made it. Whew. Okay. Uh oh, hold on. Got to take off this guy's head. All right. Um I'm going to save real quick cuz there's a big old fight. I'm also going to get a little bit more ammo. Uh we're still we're using a lot of ammo. I gotta get better at using TK for this if we're going back to hardcore mode on Dead Space 2 after this. 
Um, but let me load this up. And then we'll go to the store. It's right here. Whenever you play dra uh, Gravity Rush, we get distracted launching people into the sky. Now I gotta try this game. This game sounds awesome. I've never heard of Gravity Rush before. Uh-oh. What do you want? Hold on, hold on. I just said... Give me that cloth. Yeah. That was fun. All right. Okay, let's try this. That was close, too. <laughs> I'm glad that worked. Uh, okay, let's do some ripper blades. And then how much inventory do we have? We could use some plasma ammo, too. Gravity Rush is cool. The sequel is arguably, be uh, arguably better. What's the sequel? Is it just Gravity Rush 2 or something else? Alright. Okay, up we go. Let's go launch. Yeah, it's just Gravity Rush 2. Okay, I need to look into that. I've never heard of it. Is it on PC? Or is it a uh, console? Ronnie Maxwell, is there a sword in this game? No sword. Uh, I don't know if there's any melee weapons in Dead Space. There is a... I mean, there's a punch. But that's it. And Isaac has a proper punch now. Wait, that's the storage room. That's not where we're going. All right. Oh, okay. So you heard from a YouTuber. Gravity Rush 2 doesn't require playing the first game and is better overall. Okay, cool. Um, I could probably find a copy somewhere. Say hi to your bull mastiff named Nala. Hi, Nala. Welcome. All right. So now the tethers are all free. And let's go ahead and do we launch it from here? No, we launch it from here. Okay, release the payload. Goodbye, asteroid. We hardly knew you. It's working. The beacon's online, broadcasting wide band. I'll align the receiver. This will take a minute. Head on back to the tram station. Okay, in the original game, we got locked in here. Let's see it with a bunch of uh, necros. Let's see if that happens again. Yep, sure did. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <gasps> Hold on. Is that the hunter? That's Mercer's hunter and it's back. That is not supposed to be happening right now. Well. What do you expect me to do about that, Kendra? I can't kill this thing. Oh, I gotta wait for it to regenerate. Okay. Then do it now, please. Cool. How do I do that? How do I manually release it? Uh... Okay, let's do this. It's not here. No. It's not here. No, this is... Thank you. How do I accomplish that? Can't do it here. Oh. It is here. I would love to. Okay, let's go. Woo! Okay. Woo! Hoo hoo hoo! Okay. Thank you to everyone in chat. I'm just seeing your messages now. Oh my gosh, the hunter is back. How did it survive? We're in uncharted territories now. We are. So the hunter was actually visible in the original game, but you couldn't fight it. In chapter seven, you just saw it at one point um, in the uh, the elevator. Ooh, let's count how many libs are on the floor. Like, kind of a lot. Uh, okay, question. What chapter are we on? Uh, seven. Joe, we are just wrapping up chapter seven. Thank you, Twisted954. Said I got this. Jesse Nolan said left a door. Yeah, I missed it, and then we got there. Stasis on the wall. Yeah, everybody saw it except for me. Oh, well, you know what? We got out. That's what matters. Uh, I'm going to get some more river blades. We used a bunch in there. 
If I can play Infamous on PC, I can play Gravity Rush. You're probably right. I think I hear it knocking around up there. We appreciate your business, employee name. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, man. What's the best weapon in my opinion? I like the Ripper. What? Ah, crap. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here as fast as possible. Oh, God. Everything's coming down here. Okay. Can I open this door? Uh, okay. Power up to prep. Let's go. There is no guarantee it's not going to jump down while we're trying to get out of here. Let's hang on to this. Well, let's see. I'm getting those camera glitches. The ones that look like my brother. Waving at me. Ugh. At least the beacon's away. I'm aligning the... Okay, Wait. I think we're probably safe. A ray receiver not responding. Oh, shit. The comms are right. We never failed. Uh, Lofto, it's great. You should play it. Then let's hope that 48 hours estimate was wrong, too. No comms, no rescue. <sighs> Take the tram to the <sighs> Lofto, thank you. Door to communications. You see what's happening with the array. And don't worry about Nicole. Like Hammond said. She'll do the smart thing. Oh, man. I have so much to say about that. All right. Yeah, we kind of are in uncharted territory now. That was that was not... Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, there's more of them. Crap. Oh man, those things are hard to kill. Anyone else? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, in the original, we only faced the hunter twice. We have chapter five and chapter ten, so that is uh, that is very new. What we just saw, it was cool though. I did not expect it. I admit that. Uh, all right, let's go to the bench and use some of these nodes. Ooh. All right. Plasma. We are pretty well filled up on the plasma cutter. Uh, we may get another upgrade here. Not too long. Let's go to the Ripper. Let's do, yeah, capacity. I don't, I'm not launching too many Ripper blades just yet. Let's get the damage upgrade. Ever since 2, they love putting that guy in. Yeah, I wish there was more context for when, he, for when the version of it uh, in 2 showed up. He just kind of shows up out of nowhere. It would have been nice to have something more. Ooh, all right. That was close, but we made it. We are okay, everybody. I think. Uh, where am I going? I'm trapped in here. Uh, oh, wait. That is a master override door. But now we have access to door level three, which we did not before. How do I... Oh, it's over here. Phew. <laughs> uh, I mean... It's really good when they put him in. Like, it, it's really scary. And you could tell, like, immediately, like, the whole thing just got way more tense. All right. There we go. That's the end of Chapter 7. All right. So, Chapter 8 in the original game is the shortest chapter in out of all of them. So, like... It'll be interesting to see if we have the same thing, you know, if it works out the same way or if they've extended it or whatever. Um, but apparently we have got the SOS beacon away, but unfortunately uh, they have, uh, let's see, the comms array isn't working, so we can't receive any messages back. So if somebody is trying to help us, we can't get in contact with them. So we got to go back to the bridge and go do that. He killed you so many times in that first encounter. Oh, man. So we, uh, we played Dead Space 1, the original, on impossible mode on this channel. The room in the emergency room in the medical wing where you have to kill everything else uh, while he just chases you. I died more in that room than any other room in the whole game. It's entirely his fault. All right. Faith zombie game again. I said State of Decay, although I got to admit, like, people mentioned Resident Evil 4 and Dying Light. And I also forgot about Resident Evil 2. So, like, there's a number of other really good zombie games out there. I don't know if I can pick. Kenny Turner, love to hate him. Definitely. Absolutely. All right, let's see. Nothing has jumped out at me in the tram yet. I'm waiting for it to happen. We'll see. Hopefully they brought back the foam finger. Joe, that would be cool. I have not heard that they have brought back the foam finger for this, but that would be awesome if they did. Jay Penny said Left 4 Dead. Uh, yeah, Left 4 Dead is also another great one. 
Does Silent Hill count as a zombie game? I don't think so, personally, but like you could say that the nurses are definitely zombies in that game. There's a, there's an argument to be made for that. I, I could see uh, I could see somebody actually making that uh, correctly. All right, we here we go. Hep, Isaac, a ship just shot in. The USM mm. Valor. They must have heard our SOS. That fast? What's a military ship doing way out here? Out on patrol? Whatever. Right now, I take a rescue from a fucking magpie. Head for communications. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. Okay. All right, so we got to go back to the comms array. We passed it earlier, um, when we uh, when we were here in the bridge in the earlier run. It was like near where we had to go out onto the exterior of the ship. So let's save. All right. Okay. Now, also while we're here, I just want to check in on the side quests. Kate, uh, Kate, you were playing the first game just now, the original one or the remake? Uh, okay. So there is a report on the bridge from Nicole for the uh, the Mercer subquest. Uh, we can go back to engineering and get Russo's rig at some point. I'll probably do that off screen because it's not going to be very interesting. Um, and then Bailey's rig is in communication, so we'll probably get that. We cannot get to Benson's rig just yet. Benson is the guy from the first chapter who, you know, repeatedly in the audio logs in the original game was like, you have to cut off the limbs! Like, that's him, so... I'm excited to see that. Yeah, that military ship did show up very fast. That's really interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess we're going this way. Heck yes. Bring back bang, bang, pew, pew. I agree. Uh, okay, there's the crew deck door. We still have not been to the crew decks. It's the only zone we haven't visited yet. Is there a stasis machine around here? Because I could really use one. I think there's uh, some exploders show up here in the original game. I don't know if they do here, too. Um, oh boy. Okay. Yep, there they are. Get out of here. Oh, man. That's not the hunter, is it? No, it's not. Anyone else? Oh, we got like three leapers all showing up. Well, crap. I'm going to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't have any stasis. God darn it. Uh oh. Okay, we got to get the hell out of here quickly. Anyone else? I hear something. Where are you? You're nearby. I don't want to throw this if you're too close. There you are. Nice! Okay, that worked out all right. Phew! We haven't done any uh, any reaction gifts here yet. Let's uh, do the... Uh, yeah, that works. Whew! Okay. This needed a reboot, not a remake. I mean, the Gray Area podcast... Oh, hold on. We'll talk about it in a second. Weird feedback spikes on local comms. If whatever's wrong with the comms array is spreading... No, that's not it. So, uh, uh the door to communications should be open. You can head down to the comms control station. And, Isaac, watch what you say. I think someone's listening in. All right. Um... I mean, I could definitely see this either getting a reboot or a Dead Space 4 if this is a financial success. I believe that. Silent Hill's a weird one. It's a surreal psychological horror, even though there's literally zombies in the series somewhere. The creepiness seems to come from uncanny and liminal environments. Yeah, that's why, like, I don't know. I don't I don't know that, that I could say that, like, it's a zombie film, but, like, there's definitely some similarities with it. Did I ever watch uh, which of the Silent Hill movie? Uh, yeah, I did. I watched the original one. I actually, I kind of liked it. I know people like to hate on it. I thought it was actually a decent job. Uh, did they remake the other two? No, just this one, uh, Degree Area. All right, is there any stasis around here? No. Okay. What is this flashy guy? Plasma energy. Thank you for that. Okay. Comms array is down here. Let's go. 
Oh, Dead Space movie. I saw some of the animes, but like, I wish they would make a real Dead Space movie. By Silent Hill, the ga uh, Silent Hill gets better as the games go on. I mean, I kind of feel like two is the pinnacle for me. Blocklist. Um, I haven't played any of the one. I've only played one and two. Actually, now I think about it. So, like, to be fair, I don't know. Uh, they might be better later. Can you believe of all the movie that Sean Bean dies in, he survives in Silent Hill? Really? He dies in everything, though. I feel like I love that that's kind of become his meme. He's been just a great villain and unlikely hero. But, like, yeah, he I don't know why he dies all the time, but he always does. What's my favorite scary movie? Uh, probably The Shining. I love the old school Shining. That's so good. Oh, man. Another one of these guys. Um, do I have anything I can throw at him? We can use the line gun. I don't have any stasis, though. Shoot. Um, we'll use one of these. We'll need it. I think there's two of them down here. Where are they? I hear them. You're done, but you got a friend over there. I don't like you having friends. Okay. Oh, give me something good for the first time in this whole campaign. Give me something good for killing you. Oh, man. He does die in the second one, if I recall correctly. Who dies in the second one? Uh, Sean Bean? Yeah. Uh, I didn't see the second uh, the second film, so that I, I couldn't say. Okay, we were already in there. You also enjoyed the Silent Hill movie. There were a few death scenes that caused the same feeling of sad discomfort as watching the animated Dead Space. Yeah. It's definitely, like, it's really just dour. Um, let me just see. Is there anything else we haven't been to around here? Uh, looking at the map. I think we've been more or less everywhere here. Let's see. We've been in there. We've been in there. I don't know if there's more stuff in here now. No, okay. All right, We the only place we haven't been yet is the comms array. What about you? Anything here? Okay, let's go. Miranda, you're downloading it right now. So excited. Yeah, it's so good. You're going to love it. Okay. This is the comms array control room. Now, I know that there was normally a big old gondola that kind of like you had to take to get to the, the comms array. Maybe that's different now. This is access storage three. Let's take that. Anything in here I should watch out for? So far, so good. Small med pack. And let's use that. You might have to buy it if your laptop can handle it. Uh, yeah, I hope so, Tired Jedi. Uh, Miranda, I'm on PC. This is the, uh, the Steam version of the game. Let's see. Oh, I got a semiconductor I got to sell off. More credits. This is more credits. Any power nodes? Anything hidden back there? Anything? Yeah, get out of there. Nah, I guess not. All right. You just bought the Steam one as well. Yeah, it it runs pretty well. I'm uh, I've been pretty uh, pretty good with it. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the only good movie I can't watch again is The Road. Just how dire dire it was. Yeah, I bet. Uh, movies I can't watch again. Like, Requiem for a Dream would be one that was like, it's a good movie, glad I saw it, never going to watch it again. Uh, let's see. Maintenance Gondola. Okay, so that, we, we may have the gondola again. Uh, so excited, looks good on yours. Oh, cool. Thank you. How about Uncut Gems? I would watch Uncut Gems again. Uncut Gems was intense, but it was like, 
and it was painful to watch at times, but it was also like really, it was a really good movie. I actually, I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, it was really tense. Oh, there's all them leapers. They're in there. We'll we'll deal with them later. I think we're okay here. Michael Blenyazis, uh, I hope they don't make remake Dead Space Three. I don't think they will, but just because that game has such a stain on it. You know, they're gonna, if they're gonna sink money into a remake, they want it to be a game people are excited about. The Valor's in a holding position. How's the comms array? <laughs> Fry. Someone hot wired the dishes together and blew up the system. So we screwed. No, it was sloppy work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, we could broadcast a signal. Short range only, but it should work. Okay, do it. I'll, uh, keep an eye on things here. All right. So, it looks like they've changed the puzzle here, and I, I kind of don't mind. That puzzle wasn't all that good anyway. Um, ooh, all right. Not gonna let, you got the DLC suits. Oh, let me know if you if you like them. I decided to just go with the classic and not do the uh, the DLC. Plus, I already own Dead Space 2, so it doesn't matter. But um, you can't rewatch All Quiet in the Western Front, the new one from Netflix. Yeah, like really intense war movies would be like The Deer Hunter would be one where I'm like, I, that was a good movie. I'm never watching it again, ever. Um, Grave of the Fire. I never saw Grave of the Fireflies, so I don't know if that one uh, if that one counts. Uh, My Lord Chaos, I don't know if players are clamoring for a Dead Space 3 remake either. Case being made for Part 2, and then afterwards reboot. Yeah, like, who would be excited if they said they were going to remake Dead Space 3? Like, not many people. Um, oh, The Mist is one. Yeah, Game Tape Friends Online. I actually didn't mind the ending of The Mist, but that is high on, on the list of uh, for people who are like, yeah, I'm never watching that movie again after the way it ended. Um, okay, this is Bailey's office, and we need to find Bailey's rig for the, uh, the subquest. So let's see if it's here. Yep, there it is. Communications log. First comms operator Bailey reporting. I want this on record. The ship is under attack, but Captain Matthias has refused to issue a distress call. And we all know why. This whole operation is illegal. Aegis 7 was sealed off. They knew it, we knew it, and we all kept our mouths shut. That ends now. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is USG Ishimura calling C. Wait, what the hell? Jesus. He took the whole comms array offline. It's over. And that would be why the Ishimura didn't have contact with the uh, CEC and why uh, you were sent out. And there's Bailey's ring. All right, cool. So we got that. Oh, wait. Isaac has antlers on his head? For the new suit? Oh, that's going to be weird. You would want a DS3. I liked it. I hated the ending. I haven't played the DLC for DS3. I've heard it's good. I've heard it like actually ties together the ending really well. So I don't know if you have, Lee, but uh, but that might make it better. We're calling them handlers. Nice. Donovan, thank you for following. Uh, if they remake Dead Space 2, they have to include the multiplayer. I mean, maybe. I could, I could see some people being into that. It's EA also, so I feel like they would probably do that. Hand antlers. Ugh. No. No, thank you. Alyssa, oh, you're back. Your phone died. Oh, sorry to hear that, but thank you for uh, for coming back. Glad to have you here. Welcome back. We are in Chapter 8 right now. And we have just made it to the comms array. And, of course, the comms array has been sabotaged, but Isaac thinks he can fix it. Isaac thinks he can fix it. There we go. Um, okay. What is this here? Is this Bailey? Oh, what is this? Oh, this is new. This will be my last transmission. Afterwards, I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. We have successfully brought the holy marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original marker, is deciphering its secrets. Uh, forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but I'm suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, Planet Crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Hmm. Let's see Earth go try to cover this up. Altman be praised. It kind of makes it seem like the Unitologists and the CEC aren't really necessarily working together. Like the Unitologists actually kind of like coordinate this on their own without the CEC's involvement, which they may very well have. Do I go out this way? Yeah, I do. All right, let's go over here. Uh, screw level three, we got it. 
Another suit looks like it came straight out of Halo. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, you wish I was a Terminator in this game, smashing everything in your path? I don't know. It's a survival horror game, so I feel like if you're too empowered, then it's just not as fun, you know? Uh, let's see. Denny Shaskins, any difference from the original? Yes, a whole lot of things, but all good changes. It is sticking very closely to the original. Obviously, there's updated graphics. There's better story. There's more characterization. I think it's really cool. You're only watching for a bit because you get yours tomorrow and you don't want to expect the jump scares. That is totally understandable, Joe. Uh, hope you uh, hope you really enjoy it. It's a great game. All right. What else here? I don't like that vent. Nothing's jumped out at me in a minute. Oh, there's another one there. Crap. Expect them either way. They're still going to get you. You know, one thing about this, though, there are a lot of dynamic encounters in this game where um, enemies will spawn differently because I've, I've gone back and I've been recording just um, clean footage for YouTube and a lot of the encounters have played out somewhat differently. So even if you wa like watch me play it, it's not gonna totally like spoil it for. It. I mean, like if you want to go in spoiler free, ah, spoiler free, do it. Like absolutely. Like um, but uh, but yeah, I feel like like there will still be some surprises even if you do watch. Uh, you you heard playing in the dark is scary. Yeah, it is. Uh, can you free roam after you beat the game? You could free roam anytime actually in this. Like as you advance the story, other areas will unlock. But you can free roam a lot more than the original Dead Space 1. Uh, Steve, you're, you're uh, loving this. You got it last night. Yeah, it's so good. Some people already finished on Impossible. Yeah, man, some people just mainline this game. I'm very impressed, but I have not. I'm still on medium. Okay, what all is here? I hear them. All right, I want to get down here. and Oh, there you are. Uh, wait, before we deal with that leaper. Ooh. I want this guy to go. Ah! Okay, that did not go great, but we'll figure it out. I want this guy. Show me your tentacles. Ah, shoot. Okay, you know what? There we go. All right. Okay, now. Got you two. Oh, you're right there together. Sweet. Uh oh. Man, you are a tough little little med packs. Oh, we got one more guy. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Can I get you from here? Okay, I think that's it. Phew. Okay, that went a little wild, but we got it. Pretty sure they developed it, so it's a surprise for everyone. Yeah, it was like I appreciate that they did that. It, it's I I know that like now the tech will allow you to do that more than before. But it makes for a like it's gonna make for a lot more replayability. That's for sure. Uh, Mike, thank you for following. You're playing on medium too. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go up to impossible. But we figured like medium for the first playthrough seemed fine. Yeah, storyline is mostly the same. Do uh, yeah. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for being here. You have a family member that just marathons games within 24 hours and then acts surprised when they complete it. Yeah, I wanted to. I admit it, but I really wanted to get the footage so I can get a video out. So I'm just basically replaying at night while we played on stream and just getting like clean footage from it. All right, so how do we do this exactly? Looks like we're gonna have to try to try to circuit these together, and I think these are broken. So we probably need to figure out a way how to connect these circuits somehow. Oh, okay, so there's these little lines right here. And I'm willing to bet that's how the power moves. Let's pull these. Hmm. Or maybe not. No, they all kind of have that same that same thing. All right. Let's see. So then, how do we then circuit these together? I'm gonna try to pull all these broken guys out. So power's coming from here. So if we pull that, no power to central node. So we got to figure out how to get the power to the central node. Yeah, they got to connect to the middle somehow. Okay, okay. And I presume these things are busted and can't be used. Now, if I were to do this and connect that over here. Yeah, Kenny, this is way different than the first one. 
Lee, hopefully I get it faster than you do. We'll see. Um, okay, so that did not connect it. Which is interesting. Okay, so there's there's that little L shape on there. So I presume that means that's that's how we have to use these. Took you five minutes because you didn't notice. Uh, let's see. So if I... Can I flip this around so that this will go the way I want it to? Or do I have to... Hmm. See, if I then go upwards and then grab it from here. No, nope, it still flips around that same direction. Well, fine. All right, so I got to find something that L's it up differently. Like you. Blue has to be touching white. I think you're right, Barry. Jesse Nolan, you noticed the lines right away? That's cool. Okay. Okay, here's another one that is not working. Okay, so that's great, but then how do I get these? Oh, okay, so if I were to put this here. Overpaid Lube Tech followed me. Thank you for being here, Overpaid Lube Tech. All right, but where are the ones that will just carry it on? Like, down the cable. I'm just looking for the ones that are... Yeah, okay, there's one. Give me that. Okay, so if I put you in here... Not like that. Okay, you're horizontal. So I gotta find a way. Hmm, not there. Oh, okay. So what if we did this? We put you over here. Won't spoil the rest, but the light on, lights on them show how they connect. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm figuring that out slowly but surely. Oh yeah, someone who does that like for themselves. I mean, it's unfortunate if like you know they they ruin some some of the fun for themselves. Uh, is it in in like playing them all so quickly that you never get to like really enjoy it? Uh, okay, so this right here. Hmm. I'm just gonna put these here. So we're just looking at these, trying to figure out... Okay. Hmm. Where... I'm looking for the other good pieces. Let's just get them all together. Oh! Okay, so we have to, like, shoot them back and forth across the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got it. Um. So I'm supposed to take this here. Maybe pop that in. Uh, come back here. Get back here, you. Uh, there it is. Okay, cool. And now, you. Right there. We gotta do the same. Let's grab another of you. Hmm, okay. Maybe we'll put you here. Orient myself just a bit. Ugh. There we go. Okay, so the power is coming from... Put you in there. Uh, wait, no. Put you here. And now we just need a piece connecting that. So we need it to go from the bottom to the left. That has to exist somewhere. That won't do it, but we don't need you anymore. Hmm. Those all go up. Where's one that connects from below? Okay, let's see. Are there any more working pieces we haven't removed yet? No, that's not a working piece. That one's busted. Let's just pull it. Ah, there's one. Okay, bottom to the right. That's fine. Now 
Now, that's great, but... We gotta go to one more junction. Okay. So what I think we're gonna do... Hmm. Is there any more connectors? Right now... Hmm. Yeah, this puzzle is definitely new. Um, I mean, it works more or less the same. Yeah, it almost feels like if we did this a little differently... I don't have a vertical piece, so it's like... Yank that. Stick this over here. Yank you. Send this the other way. No, oh, get back here. Oh shoot! Ah! <laughs> Whoops. Um, I also don't really need that piece either. If we're ripping stuff out, we may as well just rip it all out. Start again. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Is this mad in space? Yeah. Right. You know what? If people would buy it, they'd make it. All right. Uh, let's see. We need... need this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we need... Hmm. Right and up. There we go. Okay. So we just need bottom to right and left to up. If we have that, we got it. Okay. Um, bottom to right. This here. Nope, that's the other way. <laughs> That belongs here, though. Okay. Now, we have bottom to right. What are you? Yep. There we are. Sweet. All right, Fabian, thank you for following. You would be lost. You'd have no idea to solve. You get it. All right. Let's go. Justin, thank you for following. Where are we going? Oh, that way. All right. Phew. But yeah, that was pretty disorienting. I'm glad that worked out okay. Oh, man. All right. There we go. Okay. Out here to activate the comms array. Is it here? Yes. Alright, let's go see if we can contact that military ship. Or rather, they can contact us. Oh, that helmet is awesome. This is USM Valor, widecasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. Whoops. Goodbye, USN Valor. Escape pod. Oh, fuck. The pod Hammond Jettison. It had shit. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. USN Valor, come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. All right. Oh. All right, so if you all remember, uh, one of the former space marines that came with them was turned into a necromorph, and Hammond stuck, like, captured it in an escape pod and had to blast it out. Unfortunately, ah, crap. Unfortunately, the uh, Valor picked up that escape pod and is now in some rough shape, potentially. Let's see if we can go get it. Not the hive, homie. 
Oh, power node. Oh, and yes, thank you, my lord cast. If you are watching on YouTube uh, and you're enjoying the stream, please do subscribe. We're back here every Saturday and Sunday. I'd uh, love to have you here. If you're watching on TikTok, feel free to come over to, on YouTube. The link's in my bio. And please do like the stream if you're enjoying it. Andrew Mills, you thought this came out in a few weeks. Nope, came out Friday. So we're just playing through it right now. This is Chapter 8. All right. Text log. What is this? Uh, it happened again. Third time in the last however long it's been. I came in after the ship and found Rousseau at the transmitter again. They looked like hell. I don't know if they'd slept uh, since the last time I caught them in here. Not very reassuring to see the chief engineer in that state. Rousseau didn't hear me come in, so this time I just listened. They were talking uh, to the relay crew again, talking, then listening, even laughed. God, how long has it been since anyone in this, this ship laughed? Um... I know I should say something to engineering. I've already told Rousseau over and over that we don't have a comms or a relay crew, that the array is broken beyond repair, that no one is coming to save us, and they listen. It's like they can't keep the thoughts in their own head as if it's too much. I get it. Everything on the ship is too much. So this time, I just let them talk. If a broken transmitter and a mic full of static gives them something to home, hold on to, then maybe even helps uh, them to keep the ship running a little longer, then who am I to judge? And yeah, maybe I've talked to the same transmitter myself once or twice after hours, just in case. Like that poem says... Hope sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. All right. Ooh, Andrew Mills. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is a, uh, this is, they did a lot of things right here. Uh, let's see. Mandalorian 97. Thank you for following. It got the RE1 tr uh, treatment. Nothing was removed. They did a bunch of quality of life updates. Yeah, that's a fair way to put it. Uh, okay, the suit. I still, still nothing I want to do with the suit. Plasma cutter. I don't really need the capacity upgrades. Ripper were good too. I might start putting. You know what? I'm either going to start... I'm going to stockpile the node, actually. We're going to use that. The only space monsters that match the uh, the cool factor is the Flood. I've never really played Halo, so I've never seen the Flood. Also, the enemies from uh, Mass Effect. Uh, is it the Geth? Yeah, Game Tape Online. You said... Yeah, Game Tape Friends Online. You said the same thing. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the Divider. Crap. These things are actually pretty well taken out by the Flamethrower because it, it damages all of them at once. Not dead yet, though. Anyone else? Nope, they're done. All right, that was the first divider. Not the last, unfortunately. I don't know if that thing's dead or if it's just its physics are just... Yeah, it's done. All right. Phew! The necromorphs are also a hive mind. Sort of. Although I have to wonder because, like, if Isaac is being used to bring the marker back, then why would the Necromorphs attack him? Uh, maintenance locker room. It could be said the Necromorphs are almost exactly like the Flood, uh, except the look. Maybe. Ooh, weapon upgrade. What are you? Plasma cutter upgrade. Yes, finally. I will make good use of that. In fact, I will go make good use of that here in a second. Credits. Let's... Uh, wait, I want to get some ammo first. Okay, we have a... Let's see, I'm going to sell that. Sell that. And, yeah, let's get some blades and some plasma energy. And ripper blades, same thing. Slippy says, buy the armor. I think I'm going to hold off because, like, I want to save the credits. I want to wait because chapter 10 is where you get the suit 5. Uh, at least it was in the original game. I don't know if it still is. Um, so if I can save the 35,000 credits, I'd really prefer to. We'll see. If I'm, like, if I'm hurting, if, if I, like, you know, if we keep dying or something like that, then, like, yeah, obviously we'll, we'll get it. All right. Plasma cutter upgrade, and we got a node. All right. So that's going to unlock pretty much all the rest of this. What is SP3? Melee attacks can knock enemies prone. Ooh, that'd be cool. Oh, do I want that? I do want that. All right. You would save it. Level 5 suit is expensive. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We did that when we played impossible mode, and that really helped on credits. Is just skipping suit 4. 
Now, the problem with this version, of course, is that means that I have to forego HP upgrades that I could get otherwise. So if we're, if we're struggling, like in Chapter 9, it might be worth going and doing that. There we go. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Actually, before we do this, I saw a save point. I should go save. It's been a minute. And then we'll go upstairs. Uh, where is the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, the aliens in Half-Life 2 are awesome. All right. Also, also, I'm pretty sure a hive mind, although some of them definitely acted autonomously. All right. Oh, Slippy, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I mean, part of the fun is interacting with everybody. That's why we do this. All right, let's go see what's outside. Now, in this version, we blasted the Leviathan out into space. In the original one, we just killed it. So it might be the Leviathan. Oh, there's a safe. Oh, no! Oh, we might have just crashed. Ah, shoot. All right, this is our first crash of this one. Yep, it's down. All right, we're 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 going to fix it. We're going to fix it. It's going to be okay. Um, oh, darn it. All right. Oh, I thought we were going to get through the whole thing. I did notice some frame drops right before then, so I was like, oh, that's going to be it. Uh, can we talk about how the Valor is full of a bunch of Deathstroke dudes? Yeah, those helmets were no joke. <coughs> I thought it, was, it looked like the Punisher or something like that. Get back here. Get back here. Okay. I'm going to fix the video. I know it's probably borked on both YouTube and TikTok. Um, let's see. Let's. Uh, I just want to get the, the settings on here correctly, and then we will adjust it. Um, oof. Okay. One sec. One sec. I did notice that what it seems to do is when it crashes, it, it goes back to my default settings. And they're not the best settings for streaming. Yeah. So, like, it goes back to trying to, to stream in 4K, which is just going to make it even chunkier. All right. So, let's do this. And apply that. And then let me make sure the audio stuff is right. Yes. Subtitles are on. Yes. Okay. Now, let's fix the video. I'm so glad we saved when we did. I saw that save point come on and I was like, oh, man, we saved for nothing. Turns out, no. Turns out that was a good idea. All right. Uh, I just want to move TikTok's chat out of the way here and drag. Uh, wait. No, not that. Let's do drag that on over there we go okay put tiktok chat back i know tiktok is probably also out of alignment now sure is let's hide me there i am all right and bring me down just a little bit yeah there we go cool all right uh back to obs back to the game all right let's do that again this time without a crash <laughs> uh, blue Velociraptor. Well, let's see. It depends on when you uh, when you took off. Uh, we are getting towards the end of Chapter 8 now. Yeah, we just had a crash. So, like, if you've only been gone for a few minutes, that's all you missed. All right. Back to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of polishing that this... What, that this could use. Um, it's not as bad as, like, Callisto was on, uh, on release, but it's not perfect, unfortunately. It is kind of an interesting glitch. All right, so we were just coming in here. We had just taken this guy out. I appreciate that it remembered that we took him out. That was a nice touch. All right, let's drop down here. Your game's crashed like 10 times now, Quintavious. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, it's always tough when you're in a good rhythm. Uh, there was an NVIDIA driver update, and after that, my game uh, ran worse. Yeah, NVIDIA driver updates lately have been wonky. All right, let's save down here. Just in case it happens again. Smash, Isaac, smash. <laughs> uh, we got some boxes down here. We're going to be doing some smashing. Let's see. All right, we got power node. I'll certainly take that. Pulse rounds, credits, plasma energy, oxygen tank. Barely use that, but that's fine. And more pulse rounds. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, where do I go? Out here, huh? Okay, comms maintenance. Okay, this is the long range antenna. Are we gonna have the Glass doors obstructed. Please contact a repair. Is the Leviathan out here? Hey, it's Alex, good to see you back. It's blocked by It's a Leviathan. It must have snagged on the comms array after we spaced it. It's not coming off without a 
I appreciate this. This makes way more sense. King of Sad, this is giving you PTSD because they're so fast. No, they they do feel faster now. Hey, Aaron, welcome. Thank you for following QQ four six one five and King of Sad. All right, so I think we got to go back out to the ADS cannons like we did before, and this time we're gonna try to blast the Leviathan off the hull. All right, are you a cannon? You look like a cannon. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Plasma cutter. Uh oh. Oh, did we go? Oh, I'm shooting. I'm not shooting it correctly. I gotta shoot this tentacle. Ooh, I cannot shoot that tentacle, apparently. That's weird. All right. Uh oh. We gotta move. It's about to... Alright. I guess we just gotta dodge it. Uh-oh. Whew. Alright. Alright. Is it one hot spot? Uh-oh. Okay, uh, I need O2. Oh, it's right over there. Let's get that quickly. Thank you. All right. Phew. Okay. ADS cannon destroyed. We gotta go find another one. This is super different, but way better. Come on. Let's go. Ooh, what are you doing over there? Oh, no! Where's the other one? There it is. Override, yes. Oh, I keep... Hold on. <laughs> I keep doing this wrong. Oh, man. Let me see. Can I? Oh, I can. I don't know if this is working. Also, I am running out of air. Uh, where's my oxygen? Oh, boy. It's about to get me. Um, okay. We need to move quickly, quickly, quickly. All right. Oh, there's the O2. It is really, really going after me. Thank you for following. I will look at your name in just a second. Oh, got me. Ah, oh, Ben Word. That might be Death 5. You were correct. All right. Death 5 of the whole run, though. That's not too bad. I'll take it. John V, thank you for following. All right. We'll keep going. We were pretty close. Taking too much of a beating from this boss. You know what? I keep, like, I don't know why, for some reason, the sinking of the cannon thing just has never, like, made all that much sense to my brain. It's interesting that it also doesn't checkpoint you, but at least I'm glad that I did the extra save. All right. Let's go back. Okay. All right. We go back in here. Ben Word, you need to play Callisto Protocol. Um, it's good. I mean, I think like there's some unfortunate like loss of potential there, but I actually think it's a really good game. All right, let's go. Okay, now that we know what we're in for. We can definitely do the center one pretty well. I'm curious to see. I might go left instead of right this time. Oh, 
Okay, now that's done. Oh, he's gonna go for me. There we go. Uh oh. Ooh. All right. Crossed me. Nice job. All right. Is there one down here? There is. Let's go this way. Wait. Let's get my O2 back. Okay. Down this way. There's a fresh O2 dispenser right there. We will remember that. Ooh. That was close. All right. Now let's make this usable okay this again all right oh ow oh, a direct hit okay that's two down uh, let's go back, get some O2. Ooh, big old spikies. Oh, they, they just, like, added some straight-up mines. Look at this. Okay. Holy moly! Okay, this just became a lot more dangerous. That's fine. I'm sure this won't be a problem later. Oh, hey, governor. Welcome. Things just got really intense. I remember this being like a little throwaway nothing section in um, the original game. And it just got a whole lot wilder. Oh, God. Oh, ah. Uh-oh, cannon destroyed. Okay. Now what? Uh-oh. Hey, how do I... I'm trying to get to the thing. Okay. Well, if that cannon is destroyed, what do I do now? Do I grab one of these? Maybe? Can I grab one of you? Uh-oh. It's probably that. Oh, got me. This section's rough, man. Oh. All right. Two is your favorite because Isaac reacts. Well, Ben, if you, you want Isaac reacting, this would be good. Uh, use your cutter. Okay. All right, good. Oh, Necromancer Noob, welcome. Yeah, I can use my cutter. I was thinking ki uh, Kinesis, but I'm just going to go for the cutter. That seems like it'd be way easier. Oh, man, that was wild. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to save after we go through... The uh, the cutscene here in a moment, just so we don't have to watch it again. Uh, and then let's use all these small health packs. Okay. Throw the projectile back. Yeah, I feel like that's it. It feels like that's what you're supposed to do, but let's see. All right, let's try it one more time. All right, cool. Let's see if we can save real quick. All right, uh, just so we don't have to do that. Oh, what's this? Flamethrower fuel, fine, whatever. Uh, let's save. There we go. No more cutscene for us. Hopefully because we beat the fight. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's go. Man, those mines were intense. This is a great fight. I'm, like, not even mad about playing it again, although I would like to beat it. All right. Thank you for following. 
Let's. Okay. Stay up. All right, there we go. One down. Adding some challenge is good. I mean, I think so. I think like I I like that they um, you know, they kind of thought ahead about what is kind of a boring section in the real game, and added a new twist on it, even if it means we have to die a couple times. All right, mm. there we go. Oh, this is gonna suck when we do this on impossible. So, all right, that one's not so bad. Uh, let's get some fresh air. And then all the mines are going to show up just to make it a little more intense. Okay, there we go. Justice Elliot, how many all, uh, chapters altogether? There's 12 total. So this is the end-ish of chapter 8. Okay, just in case we need it later, let's blast you. All right, cool. Uh-oh. Take the shell off. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, cutter time. There we go. And down it goes. Phew! Okay. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? All right, that's it. Okay, let's blast out. Shoot the mines away first. That could have worked. This uh, took you three times to beat on your channel, too. All right, well, I feel a little better now. Woo! Uh, yes, knock loose. There's 12 total channels. This is uh, to 12 total chapters. This is eight. All right. Esteban, thank you for following. Okay, let's try the long range antenna again. I love this this sequence in the original game, what we're about to see. So here's hoping it's good. Finally, USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Do not open the escape pod. Repeat, do not open that escape pod. Do you read? Whoops. A little late. Ugh. Let's get the heck out of here. Daniels, what happened? Something shook the whole crew deck. What hit it? An asteroid? Those things got onto the Valor, a rescue ship. They found your escape pod, and the one that used to be Chen is. God damn it! The Valor scrap. By the time another ship hears the SOS beacon, we'll all be dead. No, that's what I was telling you. I found an executive shuttle on the crew deck. Oh, this works out a little differently. Mark says that shuttle's missing its singularity core. It can't get us home. Wait. Singularity core is okay. I could salvage it. Install it on that shuttle. We're fucking out of here. Where's the Valor now? <laughs> it's near comms. Keep us stable. Isaac, I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Uh, Meet me there. We'll find that core together. Command, there should be subtitles. I wonder if it's... Let's see. I wonder if it's just... Uh, let me... Let me see. I might be stretched down too far. Let me adjust that then. Because there should be subtitles for everybody. Uh... Yeah, it looks like it's it's there. I'm going to just change the stretching. It looks like it's stretched uh, a little too far for folks to see. You see them on TikTok. All right, good. Then I think like I think it was just for YouTube um, is having a little bit of trouble with it. So we're going to drag that over here. 
and drag that down here. And then that should now be there. Can't hear the in-game audio clearly. Really? It sounds a little low. Well, here, I can turn that up if, if folks want that a little higher. That's not a problem. Okay, let's see, let's see how that does. Okay, so it's a little... You can see on TikTok, you can see the subtitles. All right, good. All right, glad to hear that. Uh, so TikTok should be good. All right, we just had a subtitle. YouTube, did you see that? Afraid to say it in case it was just you. No, I mean, if, if the audio is so good on this game. If you want to um, uh, you want to hear more, I'm definitely down to make it louder. Okay, come on. Good, it worked. Excellent. All right, come on, A2, A2. All right, let's... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's something more we got to do. Go to the airlock for the, the Valor. We got to go straight there. Okay. Let's go down. Whew. Okay. That was a good fight. I was into that. All right. So I guess we were right near the Valor. And I guess we gotta, probably got to go back out here. And so now, we're going to head to the Valor, see if we can get the Singularity Core. Where is the Valor? <laughs> Never mind, I see it! <laughs> Turns out it wasn't all that hard to spot after all. <laughs> At least it got rid of the Leviathan. <laughs> I also appreciate they got rid of the little... At least I think they got rid of the little mini-game that was here. I'm on board. The Valor's trash, but I can make it to the bridge. The hell was that? Oh boy, I know what that was. Uh, Aiden, this is uh, this is uh, the Dead Space remake. Just came out on Friday. All right, that's chapter eight down. On to chapter nine. Where is the Valor? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, the Twitchers are here. Oh, uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this. I'm wrong. Okay. So the Valor has probably seen some better days. The stars are ours. I love the art in here. It's very Bioshocky. Let's just say that again. Dead on our arrival. Okay. Let's head in. So yeah, this is where the Twitchers are. Oh, I hear something. I can't believe that like Chen basically did all this in an hour. Tyler Sanders, thank you for following. <laughs> Basically, opened up the escape pod an hour later. This whole place was a wreck. Oh. Oh, that's new. I think. You're the closest we got. Just stabilize the warhead and eject it away from the Ishimura. Christ damn it. No one trained you to carve up monsters with a plasma cutter either. <laughs> I suppose not. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's good. That's why you follow quarantine protocols. That's right. Speed. Yeah. Yeah, these kind of are speedrunners in a sense. <laughs> if you all don't know, there's a new enemy type that we're all going to find here pretty soon. The Valor reminds you of the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, yeah, kind of. It definitely sounds like, like the Predwinner or something like that. Anything else in here? We got credits. There's usually some good stuff in the barracks. Plasma energy. That is very welcome. Thank you. Anything else? All right, let's move on. In the warhead room, be careful not to shoot the exploders. Oh, son of a gun. Really? Fine. Oh, that's exactly where I didn't want them to be. There's a Twitcher. That'll slow you down. Ish. Oh man, you're still coming. Look at you. Wow. Those things take a beating. This is going to go great. Uh, Brock, what chapter are we on? We just started chapter 9. Turned those units, merged right into their bodies, changed them. 
They're fucking fast, Isaac. Stay sharp. Yeah. Thanks, Hammond. Appreciate that. Okay. Disposal. I just want to see this real quick. This is the airlock evac route. Oh, Ripper Blades. That was worth it. Okay, so briefing room. We got a battery. We're supposed to go in there. What's in the briefing room? Uh, what difficulty are we playing on? Alan Hopkins. Right now we're on normal. Uh, we're just play doing normal just for our first playthrough. We'll probably do one of the harder ones later. What do we got here? Text log. Eyes only. Priority black. Uh, CEC vessel USG Ishimura in breach of EarthGov system isolation order. Believed to have recovered marker 3A. Special ops have confirmed the system but unable to provide the planet's location. Exercise extreme caution. If marker 3A has been recovered, onboard infection is a credible threat. Operational order. Shock point to Aegis system. Move to position out of local scope range. Await signal from Ishimura to confirm location. Objectives. Uh, secure marker 3A. If uh, infection is uh, present, initiate sterilization protocol uricity. If infection is not press, uh, uh, present, initiate containment protocol Apollo. Uh, all personnel must, without exception, submit to full psychological examination during debriefing. Ooh, wow. Someone gave the crew coffee before they became necromorphs. It wasn't the marker that made them that way. Oh, man. 100 credits. Okay, can we get through... What is this? Audio log. Commander Cadigan, to all hands. We have been boarded by hostile forces. Hostiles are alien. Repeat, alien. And extremely dangerous. All personnel, two arms. Fire at will. I haven't heard two arms in a while. Okay. Oh, power node. That was worth it. Give me that. All right. Okay, we do have a battery in here. That may be worthwhile. I think I saw... Do we need a battery here? No, no, we're still good. Maybe those pop out later. Uh, or they pop out right now. All right, you're useless. Get out of here. Wait. Move you over here. All right, let's do this again. Grab this. Ah, uh, god darn it. Nope! I think there's another one in there somewhere. Oh no. No, you don't. Okay, at least we know the Ripper works on these things pretty well. Okay. Let's use one of you. Uh, where'd the battery go? Is it? Oh, it's out here. All right, pop you in. Yeah, that whole military ship just got wrecked by one necro. Saw the thing you drop, get back up as your back was turning and felt so powerless to help. Oh, thank you, Game Tape Friends Online. Oh, it's Kine. I must speak with you. I think it's Kine. Dr. Terrence Kine. Yeah. The Ishimura's chief science officer. I, I studied the marker for the church. I'm done talking to unitologists. But, but, but the planet won't rest until the marker is returned. You, you can't leave. Watch me. <laughs> okay. Isaac's not the biggest fan of unitologists in this version. Oh, let's definitely save. All right, anything else here? High yield ordnance storage. Not a great sign, but all right. Torpedo bay. Okay, so that's the warhead, I presume. I do remember this, actually, from the original game. All right, so if there's exploders here, we probably need this instead. Yeah, there they are. There's something. Oh, I hear them. Okay. I did not pack the force gun with me, unfortunately. Whew, okay.
Dead Space 2 trained me well for this. Okay, do we have to hit the fuses, I would think? I don't see any more exploders yet. I'm sure they're coming. Can we launch this yet? Power required to launch the warhead. How do we give it power? We need a battery. Where's the battery? Is it the one out there, maybe? Let's see. Oh, that's an elevator. Shoot. Okay, all right. No getting out of here. We need a battery. Oh, thank you, Justin Mullins. Uh, PC or console? This is PC. Yeah, we're playing on the Steam version. Oh, there it is. Excuse me, dude. Do different suits give you different abilities? So far, uh, it gives you different upgrade paths, but not different abilities. Let thy aim be true. Thank you. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Phew. Okay. think we're safe. Ish. Okay. The warhead's clear. Damn it. This doesn't add up. If the Valor was just on patrol, why bring a nuke? Fair question. If they had a target, what's out here except us? Yeah, I know. I'm downloading a munitions report right now. I'll clear your route to the engine room. Grab that singularity core and let's get out of here. Get me some credits. I feel like leaving an exploder alive is just a bad idea. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, to the armory. Surely this will go fine. Save it again. What are you? Ripper blades. We'll definitely need those in a bit. Mm, got something green. Gold semiconductor. Yes! We seem stuck. Brandon, thank you for following. Hmm. Okay, maybe this is not the way. Oh, we missed the door. That's where we have to go. Armory. What else is here? I hear something in here. Uh oh, it's one of you. See, this is why I keep the flamethrower around. It's not all that useful, but man, the times that it is, it really pays to have it. More pulse rounds. Fine. Burn, baby, burn indeed. Oh, man. All right, anything else here? Oh, I knew it couldn't be that easy. Where are you? Uh, a couple of twitchers. Fine. Come here. Not too bad. The Ripper still holds them at bay pretty well. They did not, uh, they could not get a hit on me. Okay. All right. Um, we will go into the shooting range in a moment. I remember the shooting range. Uh, let's use that small health pack. Keep the medium one in case we get in trouble. rounds. So I don't think there's anything... Well, you know what? We'll go in there and check. There's a bunch of pulse rounds, apparently. I'll at least sell these. I'm sure you probably get something for shooting those, but we got things to do. You didn't know it was already out. Is it good? Yeah, Hobby, it's really good. I'm a big fan. 
Yeah, I don't want to waste the ammo. Um, can I cease? Or does this have to go through its uh, cycle? Ah, oh, god darn it. Fine. Who else is here? More Twitchers. Just the one? Oh, uh, he came in right as my Ripper ran out. Oh, you got the leg armor. Let's take your arms off. Oh, crap. More of those things. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Shooting range out of service. Please contact maintenance. That's probably for the best. Now let's go see if there's anything hidden back here we actually want. Score zero, fine. I'm sure if I go and actually participate in this, I might be able to get some scoring, but let's let's move on. That's what you remember about the uh, the flamethrower. Yeah, every now and then the flamethrower comes in comes in handy. Ooh, we got some stuff here. Pulse rounds. Oh, lockers are open now. Oh, thank you. Oh, power node. Yes. And a ruby semiconductor. That's 10,000 credits. Awesome. Okay. i use that little med pack. Get me back up to where I was. Let's see. Is there... Love it if I got a save point. Now oh, that'll be one momentarily. Let's move on. Have I watched the Dead Space anime? I've watched some of them. Uh, mostly I've watched the ones from Dead Space 2. I've seen a little bit of the one from 1. Oh. Oh, oh this guy holding on to his leg. I remember you. Ezekiel, or Ezekiel, thank you for following. Anything back here? No. Oh, yeah, we got an infirmary. Oh, I remember this. And this guy is going to run through here and get wiped out, which is great. That means I might also get wiped out. Large med pack schematics. Okay. Probably not going to use that, but... Oh! Oh! I don't remember if that... I think there was another... Like, we, we skipped another uh, Nicole sighting uh, at the end of Chapter 8. But that's a new one, I think. Uh, nope, not getting through there. Well, shoot. Ah, darn it, I keep missing it, just barely. Okay, let's try that. Oh, you're still coming, aren't you? Ow. I love how if you kill one of them, you get like a st it like blasts out stasis. That's a nice uh, nice touch. Oh man, I could use a store. I'm running out of ammo. Oh, there was a little stasis jar there. That would have helped. Hi, you hearing this? It's Chen. There on the ring link. Oh. Chen's dead. You know that. I know my own fucking corporal. Chen, come in. All right. Chen might be alive? That could also be the marker messing with people? Uh, let's save real quick. Okay. Now that's the way we got to go. So let's go over here and just see if we can get through this stuff. Uh oh. Alright. We got Munitions Team Locker Room. That could be helpful. But I don't want to get stuck on there. 
Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. All right. Phew. Jose, thank you for following. Line racks. Credits. River blades. And, okay. Plasma inventory full. What can we drop? Um, I think we're going to drop... We don't need these pulse rounds. Load everything back up. Save us some space. There we go. Uh, oh, ooh, I almost walked into that. All right, wait for that to spark up. And run. Okay, onwards. Too bad there's no storage box. Yeah, Kenny, that would be nice. I mean, the stores do kind of work like a storage box a little bit, but you have to find a store, of course. Oh, there's our escape pod. Didn't work out so well. Oh, man. All right. Look at that. He just took out these three just immediately. Anything in here? Not really. All right. Um, let's see what else is here. Okay, big old empty room. That's not a great sign. Lockers. Stasis recharge. Probably gonna need that. Oh, there that goes. Ooh. One of you. Alright, you're done. Ooh. To catch my bag of death here, anybody? Uh, that's fine. You want to just run right into my uh, my ripper blade? I am okay with that. Get them legs off. God, this room was such a gauntlet in the original game. Probably is here too. Anyone else? I hear something. Oh, God! Ow! I did not expect to see you here. You usually show up later. Alright, excuse me. I'd like to take out your legs, please. Ooh, just missed ya. Okay, that's one leg down. That's two legs down. He's not over yet. Alright, now he's done. Whew. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Uh, do I have any med packs? I am in the yellow. I do have some med packs. Let's use them both. Yeah, I feel like this room was way worse than the original. It was like way more populated. I did not expect the Brute, though. I was getting a little overconfident until the Brute showed up. Let's see here. Anything? Ooh, right guy. Uh, no worries. Thank you for being here. Kenny Turner. Yeah, they put the Twitchers in here. Uh, Kusar Garcia, what uh, weapons do I like that best? I like the Plasma Cutter and the Ripper, personally. Um, I tried the Contact Beam out for the first time on this stream and really liked it. Oop, there's something back here. I don't know if there's anything good back here, but let's find it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, still... Alright, All right, let's go. What do we got back here? Ripper blades and credits. Eh, it's fine. 
I was hoping for a node. Okay. Now then, where are we headed? Over here. The Bowers reunition logs. It wasn't just a nuke. They came loaded for war, seeking destroy. This was no patrol. They knew about the Ishimura. Someone knew. We were all dead from the moment we arrived. Uh, Owen, what chapter? We're on chapter nine. Uh, Benjamin, you remember a force cannon? Yeah, there was a, there's definitely a force cannon. I don't have it with me in my loadout, um, but that's kind of neat. It's only, it knocks people back without actually dismembering them, which is great for like the pregnant necromorphs to the exploders and such, where like you really have to watch out for where you hit them. Okay. Engine access, warning, extreme radiation. Ooh, yeah, let's definitely hit the safe station. I remember this. Credits, and... Is that anything? Yep, line racks. Because if this is what I think it is, we'll have another brute fight here in a moment. Assuming they didn't just move that brute fight to the last room. Maybe they gave Hammond another death scene. We'll see. Ooh. Okay, this, this plays out a little differently. And are you gonna... Nope, you're just gonna go. That's okay. We know the way around you now. Whoa! Crap! I did not... Uh, I did not know that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, sorry, Isaac. Alright, what is this? Credits. Maybe a med pack. Any more credits. <laughs> Whoops. Did I replay the original? Yeah, um, actually, we, we redid the original on stream uh, not too long ago. Um, yeah, I think it really holds up. It's really good. Uh, okay, what is... I see something down there. Do I have to go this way? No. Hmm, interesting. Let's go see what's over here. I do appreciate Isaac's, uh, even though he's not getting burned, he does have some good reaction to all the fire around him. That would be hot as hell. Oh, circuit breaker. Okay. Fire suppression system and elevators. I suppose, though. Oh, no, it does work. All right. Oh, can't be easy, can it? Oh, got another one. Oop, small med packs. I'll definitely use those. What we got here? Go for the loot. Yes, very much so. That is the plan. All right, now I want to make sure. Is that one still? Yep, it sure is. All right, now let's roll. Okay, elevators are this way. I like that they, they redid this section a little bit. The, I didn't love... I'm going to save it, though. I didn't love this section in the original game. It was a little more interesting. Okay, let's go up. Let's see here. Elevator. That away, huh? over here nothing you're locked all right nowhere to go but here let's go is that me yeah it's me i hope it's me oh hammond what are you doing in there oh chen's gonna kill hammond you should shoot him Oh god, is Hammond gonna end up being a necromorph now? Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, sorry, Hammond. It was. Oh, it was your trusting nature that did you in. That was a better death scene for him, though. 
All right. Yes, Evander. Hammond is very, very dead. Will he come back? That I don't know. Hammond vitals, they just flatlined. He... Hammond's gone. Hammond's shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess they did get blown to bits, didn't they? All right. The batter's going to blow. Go! Yep. Let's go. This was fun and all, but I think it's time to get the hell off the Valor. Oh, guess we're going this way. Everything else is on fire. Oh, God. Something's here. I would really prefer not to deal with it. Barracks? We came through the barracks. Uh oh No, that's right. These are switchers. We can't avoid them. Take a leg off. Okay, where are we going? This way. Who is that? Uh, I saw somebody. Is that Kine? I don't even know. Okay, wait, where are we going? No way through here. This way? Yes, okay. Came back as a force ghost? Maybe. I saw somebody running too. I don't know who that was. If that was Kine or somebody else. Kendra, maybe? Uh, okay, wait. Wait for that. All right, let's go. Move it, Isaac. Ooh. Airlock evac route. Yes, good idea. Ooh, ow. Whoa. Oh, that's rad. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, you need to not hit that thing. That's going to hurt like hell. Ow. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Where am I? Am I in the comms array? I totally am. I remember this. Isaac, come in. I'm here. Fuck, that was close. Yeah, it was. Johnson, now Hammond. And I'm tracking movement from the Valor. I think some of those... Mutated soldiers made it on board. Yeah, probably so. covered in blood, but I got it. God. I hope Hammond was right about that. Jacob, thank you for following. He said it was on the crew deck. Along with every unitologist on the ship and their marker. You need to wait, someone's opened the door near the bridge atrium? It'll get you to the crew deck, but who's left with that kind of clearance? Isaac. It's Dr. Kine, it's gotta be. But we have to get that shuttle. For God's sake. I presume well, that's Dr. Kine. Because, yeah, who's left with that kind of clearance? It would just be him. Okay. Yeah, maybe Kendra. You're also right. That could have been Kendra. Alrighty. Find Benson's rig. Okay, Benson's rig is now available to us, and we're here in the comms array. Let's just save real quick. Woo! That was wild. That was a good little run. I appreciate what they did with the Valor. They made some good changes there. All right. Well, we've been on for four and uh, what is it? three and a half hours now. All right. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you for being here. Uh, we'll be back uh, Saturday. Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll finish up the run uh, here. Uh, if you've been watching on TikTok, thank you for watching on TikTok. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, my link's in my bio for my YouTube channel. If you'd like to come uh, check out some of the streams there, uh, I'd love to have you. Um, if you, uh, let's see, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. If you haven't yet, would love to see you around for future streams as well. Please do like the stream if you can. Uh, otherwise, everybody, thank you very much. Hope you have an excellent rest of your weekend and take care, folks. All right. Bye.